Got to do bam bam. Do 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 do. You could just do the what's up, everybody. Right. <laughs> what's up, everybody? Welcome to Wolf Den Live, episode one sixty nine. Nice, nice. <laughs> Damn it, that uh, threw off everything. We are a little discombobulated. I had everything set up. I had plenty of time to set everything up. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, wait, I never put the intro on here. <laughs> <laughs> so then what are we going to do? Got to uh, just do it yeah. on the house. Well, yeah. you could add it in post. I can add it in post. The, no, I'm going to leave it in. If you're a podcast listener, if you're it a might podcast have sounded list- a little bit better. Can, anyway. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hello, uh, where am I? I'm all messed up now. Yeah. Hello, Zombie Moose. Hello, Alan. Hello, my name is Jeff. Hello, Antonio. Hello, that's a name I can't pronounce. Hello, Maxage. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, anyone and everyone who is here. Um, welcome. Also, very special thank you to uh, Sarge133, Dark Type Music, Lance Moore, uh, Mecha Dragon, Gene Kauf Morales, French Toast, Satisfy Gaming. AJ and two homes for all being members here on YouTube. Oh, thank you. I don't know why it groups them all together. It does that. So I'm just going to say at the top of the show. I was uh, mad because I was uploading my video today, like Mm -hmm. in the morning before I went to work, and I was going to add the, you know, the end card slate. And, of course, YouTube is now in YouTube Studio Beta. Yes. So it took me about 10 minutes to find how to do that. And I had done it last week. But I forgot how to do this. Everything's week. on the sidebar now. You have to actually like click the title of the video to go into it to edit, and then you have to scroll down. It, it's a pain in the ass. Fix it. <laughs> so I've been trying to use it. Yeah. Because they're trying to impose the new YouTube. So I know. It, it's YouTube's back end. Uh, when you upload videos and stuff, now they're trying to force their new version of that. Yeah. They shouldn't have done a big update. They should have leaked it all out. Yeah. You know, but that's what. That's what they did. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it, well, I like how one of the options... You, you can go to the old YouTube studio. Mm-hmm. And I like how one of the options is uh, to... Uh, one of the options is... Uh, I can't find what I need quickly enough. Yeah. So I, I click that every once in a while. I try to give them as much feedback as possible. Hey, thanks, Brett Young, for the $2. Love you, Will. Hi, oh, Bob. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right, now. AJ says, I just force it back to classic YouTube. Yeah, I think I'm I gonna try. Hit. I try to do my best. Yeah, because I know like they're going to like force it. Yeah, honestly, eventually but... you won't be able to click You know classic. what's weird, though? Because my personal YouTube account had Studio Beta before the Wolf Den account did. Mine did, too. Yeah, that's strange. Um, I think it's because we don't upload on our personal channels. Yeah? Yeah. And we constantly upload on, our, on True. ours. True. So. Yeah. All right, well, anyway, we got a we, we got a couple things to talk about. This is going to be a relatively short stream because yeah. uh, we are going to PAX tomorrow. We sure are. Morning, very early in the morning, and I haven't packed yet. Really? I'm all, I'm all packed You up. packed on, like, Sunday. Yeah, figured get it done. Because I didn't know when I was going to have time to do it Monday or yeah. Tuesday. Well, I don't have time. Yeah. Because here I am. So, <laughs> but <laughs> who's that? Oh, hey, Switch Mod 3. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. First thing we gotta talk about. Well, we want to talk about the Nintendo. Nintendo is gonna have two new consoles, apparently. This allegedly, year. allegedly, allegedly. We got a lot. To, I got. Yeah. I, I don't know about that. Yeah. But we're gonna talk about that. But first, well, it's it's the end of the month, which means the beginning of next month is coming. Which means it's time to tell you about PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live Games with Gold. It sure the free is. games that you get if you are a member of PlayStation Plus or Xbox Live Gold. Yes, I have not looked at these. Uh, I have. Uh, I keep forgetting that for PlayStation Plus, it's only two games a month now. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, and it's like... I mean, the games on here aren't great. <laughs> but like, even if they were Ooh. great, I feel like that'd be disappointing. That's not good. Yeah. So, Ooh, that's real not good. Okay. So on PlayStation Plus, uh, for the PlayStation 4, available from April 2nd... Available starting April 2nd, I should say. You get Conan Exiles and The Surge. Hmm. People like the Surge. And I, I know there's all like a dedicated fan base behind like the Conan the Barbarian games. True. Um, but I don't think it's anybody who watches the show. <laughs> I forgot about the Surge. So what the, is the Surge? The Surge people were comparing to they they were saying it's like a new it's it's like a uh Neo Future Dark Souls. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you're that's in like not, a you're like a like a weird looking like power mech suit yeah. or something. Um that's cool, I guess. 
Yeah, people like. I mean, it didn't get great reviews, but right. people did like it. Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna play it. Right, because okay, Sicario's out. Why the hell would I play yeah. that? Uh, f- and Conan Exiles. You know, I'm sure it's good. I'm just probably never gonna play it. Yeah. Well, it's free. Yeah. So, so I could if I wanted to. Yeah. So that's it for PlayStation Four. You get Conan Exiles and The Surge. But, Ooh, o- but right. over on Xbox, uh, f- for the entire month of March. Nope, this is the, Mar- the March one. Why didn't I put the April one in Oh, there? you suck. Why was I excited? I was excited that we were getting Metal Gear Rising, even though we have it already. Yeah, that's still available. Damn it, Major Nelson. Hold on. I will fix this. You better will. Well, while you do that, I'm going to read... Uh, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click a button. Uh, Brett Young, hey, thanks for the two bucks. And thanks for... Oh, uh, yeah, thanks for the two bucks. You said two dollars separately. Thank you. No, oh, damn it! I copied when I should have pasted. Uh, All right, you're good. All right. Oh, thanks, Brett. He was he was uh, he he was he was giving a super chat for the, each of us because he because he uh, was talking you up at the beginning. I'm sorry. Oh, Continue. Hey, okay. Your, <laughs> you have value. So for the entire month of April, for the Xbox One, you get Technomancer, which I've heard of, but I don't remember much about it. Okay. And. From April 16th to May 15th, you get Outcast Second Com- uh, Second Contact. Outcast okay. Second Contact. Don't know anything about that one. No, I don't know either of these games. Well, that's okay, because over on the Xbox 360, which, again, you can play on the Xbox One. They're running out of Xbox One games. I feel like they... I feel like they have plenty of Xbox One games, but they can't use them all right away. Right. Like they, have, they have to use like the more indie titles the more like lesser known stuff mm-hmm. you know the more b and c level titles before they can be like yo for the entire month of april get uh devil may cry 5 mm. you know but that's okay because for the xbox 360 starting april 1st you get star wars battlefront 2 the good version Ooh. the original xbox version from april 1st to april 15th hot damn yeah this is again. This is the original Xbox, so like 2004, uh, Star Wars Battlefront II, the Lucas Arts Pandemic game, not the Electronic Arts game that everybody hates. Right. This That's is very this important. This is the original Xbox. Game. The original Star Wars Battlefront II. YouTube really wants to suggest me uh, Spawn Wave and beat 'em ups videos right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then from April 16th uh, through the end of the month, you get uh, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter II. For the Xbox 360. And again, both of those games, Battlefront 2 and Ghost Recon 2, are playable on Xbox One. This wasn't a good Ghost Recon game. Are you thinking of this or Future Soldier? No, Future Soldier was was alright. Yeah. This I don't know. This, this I wasn't a fan of... I wasn't a big fan of Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon was much more simmy than like Rainbow Six. Yeah, yeah. And like a lot, and it eventually got a lot more like future techy. Like the Advanced Warfighter uh, series was when like Ghost Recon became more like future tech mm. uh, simmy. Um, but I remember this being very popular when it came out back in the day. I think it came out before Halo Three. It was so a it, dime a dozen so at, it was, at GameStop. Yeah, because like, like once Halo Three came out, like nobody cared about it. Yeah. It was an early Xbox three hundred and sixty title and like that was like one of the big games to play, you know, online before Halo Three and Gears came out. Mm-hmm. So it was popular back then. Don't know if it holds up right now. Um but yeah. I'm sure it was all right. But yeah. I I I We don't have the patience for I these was games. A, well no, I was a huge fan of Rainbow Six. Yeah. So I tried. I think I tried the first one. And Gra- I was or the first Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Yeah, Advanced yeah Warfighter. we have yeah. one of those. I was I not. The, I have the list up. Or right I might now. have had two on PC. Well, I you have I the have, list right there. I you can tell right me there. right now. Well, while you do that, uh, we, yeah, no, you had Tom uh, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter too. Oh, on yeah, PC. On PC. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay. So I was not a fan of this game. Yeah. <laughs> I was not happy about it. Okay. It was too complicated. Yeah. That's that was the, the whole thing with Ghost Recon. Yeah. It's like you know, Rainbow Six was complicated enough, but Rainbow Six is for babies compared to Ghost Recon. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't a, a fan of that. Yeah. I just wanted to shoot people. Yeah. You know. Well, I mean, I I liked the the uh, tactical elements of Ghost uh, of uh, Rainbow Six. I liked planning the 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 breach and everything. Yeah. Um. 
like plotting where to go you have another team coming from another way you plot where mm-hmm. they're gonna go and stuff like that was really cool uh ghost recon i was just immediately confused yeah. when i started playing it i was expecting rainbow six but in uh you know in, in, a, future, in a war yeah. setting but that didn't that wasn't the case Anyway, Snow Dodger, thanks for the two bucks. Waka, waka, waka. <laughs> and Matthew Liguri with $2. Here, have some free money, I guess. Thanks, man. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the money. Uh, so, yeah, those are your games, I guess. Yeah. Battlefront 2, that's good. That is good. I feel like a lot of people who don't like the current Battlefront maybe haven't played the original Battlefront. And I know there's a lot of people who have played the original Battlefront and lament the fact that the new Battlefront is nothing like it. Right. So now there's a chance for you to play it on a modern system, uh, and I think online works. So, and if it doesn't, you know, you can always do system link. That still works. Hmm. There's a there's a new mode in the new Battlefront that's supposed to yeah. be like the old modes in the old Battlefront. But I heard it's, but it's not, not good. <laughs> I heard it's all right. It's just yeah. one level though. Uh, I did see that for the new Battlefront, they added Count Dooku's pajamas from the clone wars you can put you can wear for like his skin what yeah apparently and there's an episode of clone wars where dooku wears pajamas <laughs> i didn't know that and apparently <laughs> if you play as anakin skywalker and you look down at your shadow it's darth vader's sa- shadow well that's cute that's cool that's cute yeah i'll say cute no i don't know about cool but yeah cute. Uh, i like to i like to condemn kaveen in the chat here saying he says Lagging, by the way, which immediately my red flags go off. Yeah. I'm like, uh-oh, something's wrong. Then he says, the vid is so far behind. And I'm like, is, is something wrong? Is there a stutter yeah. or something? Then he says, look at the live chat and the vid. It's super far behind. Yeah, the oh, live chat's going to yeah. be behind. <laughs> yeah. Man, act like you've been here before. Yeah, man. What do you think? You think yeah. live TV's live? Yeah. Seven second delay on that <laughs> bitch. Uh. Anyway. Uh... So there you go. Get get Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yeah. And Graw, if you're into that. Graw? Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. That's what all the cool kids I was call think, it. I was like, my brain couldn't handle yeah. the acronym. I got, a lot, I got a lot going on in my I life know. right now. <laughs> um, yeah, PlayStation, no. Play, not, yeah, not it's, it's good. disappointing because, yeah, you're limited. The Surge, if, if you like those types of games, but you have to have already beaten Sekiro. Yeah. And I guess Conan, if you're a big fan of Conan the Barbarian. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you would think that, like, you know, Sony's giving away less games, the quality would go up. And I guess not. <laughs> True. True. But again, people really like The Surge. Yeah. So I don't want to downplay The Surge. But, I mean, that's a game that'll be, that probably went into the bargain bin real quick. Yeah. All right, well, let's talk about these new consoles. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so... The Wall Street Journal wrote an article, and whenever the Wall Street Journal writes an article, everybody's got to lose the goddamn minds. Well, yes, reason. because the Wall Street Journal is a big, important, serious newspaper, Bob. They talk about stocks that when you click on, you have to have a subscription to read. Yes. They make a, they, they make a profit on only their headlines. <laughs> Think about that. that. That's good business, Bob. That, that's that's good. great. <laughs> that's because that's a newspaper that talks about stocks, so they know how to monetize everything. Mm. Correct. Anyway. They're, they're, they're the epitome of clickbait. Yeah. If there's a problem with YouTube clickbait, there's a problem with the Wall Street Journal yeah. over there. Anyway. Uh, according to them, well, this is, an, this is Tech Radar yeah. quoting the Wall Street Journal since we don't have a Wall Street yeah. Journal subscription. Two new Nintendo Switch consoles could land later this year. I had the Engadget article before and I read it and it wasn't good. Really? There was like no information. That's disappointing. So I put the Tech Radar article in here. Uh, it's been one of the great gaming successes of Nintendo's storied career, so it should come as no surprise that the House of Mario is allegedly working on new Nintendo Switch consoles. But rather than being a straight-up Nintendo Switch 2, a Wall Street Journal report suggests that Nintendo is working on two individual variants that, rather than making the current Nintendo Switch obsolete, would put it in the middle of a range of growing, of, of, an arrange growing to suit all budgets that's interesting yes because i thought now i clicked on something and everything sucks <laughs> um according to the the publication sources the first of these new devices will be aimed at budget gamers and will see the switch presented in a more traditional handheld first format it'll replace 
removable Joy-Cons with fixed ones and ditched the HD rumble feature in order to bring costs down, making it presumably more difficult to play in the docked mode with a TV without the purchase of a separate controller. But will it fit in the in the dock? Yeah. Is something that you're leaving out. It might not even fit in it. Uh, the second new version of the Nintendo Switch, going by the rumor, is a little harder to pin down, but would be a premium version of the console with, quote, enhanced features targeted at avid gamers. Uh, that's not to suggest it would be aiming for 4K or HDR visuals, but would more likely have features and services baked in that would accommodate the modern obsession with streaming to platforms like Twitch. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. With your average console lifecycle floating around the five or six year mark on announcements this year, an announcement this summer uh, to be followed by a winter release would see Nintendo on par for a mid-generation console refresh. It's far from unusual for Nintendo. Ev- for, it's far from uh, unusual from Nintendo. Everything from the Game Boy to the Wii to the 3DS received multiple updates across their lifespans. This seems like a reasonable bet, and the Switch is one cow Nintendo will be keen to squeeze the lawn lawn milk out of. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Okay, so I'm a little disappointed in this article, too, because they didn't say how we know this. Yeah. Where is this information coming from? It's coming from um, uh, one of the supp- the parts suppliers. Right. But it's the, the part suppliers don't say what these two systems are going to be. Yeah. They're just... They just say like, "Oh, there's gonna be this. Chi- they they want to buy. Nintendo wants to buy a bunch of this chip yeah. and that chip." It's probably not even for like you know a new Switch model. It probably might just be for um, you know optimizing the the internal hardware, kind of like what they used to do with the Super Nintendo. There's like ten different versions of that, and it's all mm-hmm. the same system. Or uh, there's been modern consoles where they changed, like like the original Xbox 360. Yeah, like they added an HDMI port. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it could it could be dumb stuff. It could like be that. that. But let's assume that you know it it might actually be uh, new Switch models, a portable and a hardcore one. Let's say all the rumors are pointing towards we're getting at least one <laughs> right new Switch model, either a Switch Pro or a Switch Lite. Yeah, everybody is always asking and worried about if there's going to be exclusive games for this new console. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Almost certainly not. Yeah. But it, you have to... Th- I don't want people to be thinking about this like um, anything that we've seen previously. Because like it's not going to be like the Xbox 360 to the Xbox 360S update. Yeah. It's not going to be... Well, no, keep going. It might be similar to that. But it's not going to be like the PS4 to the PS4 Pro. I think it would be more in line with that. You're... No, no, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I don't think it's, you know, the new Switch is going to output 4K or anything like right, that. Right. But I do think it will be, you know, a slight spec bump so that it it will run games faster, probably have more memory inside, a bigger hard drive space, right. things like that. Well, well I, like, I, like the next generation Tegra chip it'll have. I would most closely associate this with the 3DS. Right. You, get, well, yeah. you, you got the original 3DS. And then the new then 3DS. Then you got the new 3DS. And then you got the new 3DS XL and like all that other bullshit. Well, yeah. Crap. Well, that's similar to the going from the PS4 to the PS4 Pro. It's the same thing. They both play the same games, but there's just a spec bump right. between, you know. The only problem with the new 3DS is that there were at least two exclusive games. Right. Which was a problem. I hope Nintendo doesn't yeah. do that. But that is a possibility. That you could get Xenoblade only running on yeah. the new Switch, you know? Because that's what happened. <laughs> But I think now, like, it's cause especially because, you know, developers are doing it with the Xbox One and the One X and the PS4 and PS4 Pro, they know how to, you know, develop one game for two different, for one game for the same platform, but two different spec levels, mm-hmm. is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So I think now developers are keen enough to know how to do that. So if they do, if they do have to release a game for the Switch and the Switch Pro, let's say, it won't be a problem. I think that the hardware advancements... Well, hold on. So, all signs, like I said before, are pointing to at least one new Switch revision. Right. I think we're almost certainly getting a budget one 
or a portable only one, mm-hmm. something like that. And they're saying in this article that they're not going to have HD rumble in this new version, yeah. which that's some information that we could definitely get from a part supplier. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. All this other crap doesn't really make much sense. Um, but so that's what that's my thinking is that we're at least getting a cheaper version. Right. If we're getting a premium version, I think that um, it's it's going to be more in lines with like the the new 3ds. It's right. not going to be like we're not going to be getting like 4K out of this thing. Right. Not, yeah. It's I don't even think that they're going to have to uh, make the games much different. I just think it's going to have a better processor, meaning that it's got better battery life. Yeah. So games might load faster, but they don't have to remake the game for this yeah. specific processor. You know. Um, the spec bump's going to be very marginal and it'll just be quality of life stuff and not necessarily like have to have developers make two different versions of this game, yeah. all different versions of the Switch. So I don't think it's going to be a problem for developers at all. No, me to neither. navigate through all this. Um, another interesting part of this article was uh, the this part, enhanced features targeted at avid ga- video gamers. That's a co- That's... That's according to again the the part supplier. Yeah. So, and then Tech Raider says that's not to suggest it would be aiming for 4K or HDR visuals, but would more likely have features and services baked in that would accommodate the modern obsession with streaming to platforms like Twitch. That's not something that you can get from a part supplier. Right. That's, that's not the type that's of information you get. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that'd be cool. Yeah. But then again, that's probably something that Nintendo could add to the current Switch. Right. You know, theoretically. Well, I think that there's there's some weird things going on with that. I yeah. don't think Nintendo is is like up to snuff with stuff like streaming on Twitch. Like, no, they just get, like became okay with you know the YouTube yeah. in general. <laughs> Basically, only Nintendo games allow you to re- to share your videos from yeah. the game. And even Smash Brothers, they have a share match feature so you can like save your match, but like I said yeah. last week, it saves your frame data. It doesn't save a video. Yeah. So, Smash Brothers isn't you can't record while you're playing. Yeah. You know? Nintendo doesn't have that down yet. So maybe a newer version of the Switch with something in it that would allow you to record while you're playing. Like all like the PS4 records 15 minutes all yeah. the time. Well, the PS4 has a, has a separate processor in it just for that. Right. So so Nintendo would have to do something like that. Right. But not all games support it now on the current Switch. Right. So will all games support They're going to do something to screw that up. Yeah. That's not going oh, yeah. to go well. <laughs> Um, but I could see that being a premium switch. Yeah. I think it's, I think everybody's, everybody's pretty much got in their head what a, what a, what a cheaper switch would look like. Yeah. But a premium switch, you're not getting a 4K switch. So get that out of your head. Mm-hmm. That's a lot harder to, to think about and try to, try yeah. to, try to get a, get a, like a, like a vision of. What are you looking at? I was just going through the, <laughs> backlog while we're doing why this. just because something to do but I, i'm paying attention oh is this conversation <laughs> good enough for you i'm paying attention to everything you said <laughs> anyway thanks uh captain tempest for the two dollars i hope the budget version won't be a handheld only unit with fused joy cons the younger audience it's geared towards won't be a be able to use things like labo if it does um that's a good point well, it's for people who aren't going to get Labo. But not everybody's getting Labo. Labo is not for everybody. But at the same time, <laughs> he, he does raise a question. It's something like I when we first talked about, you know, a switch, a portable only switch. You know, part of the whole appeal of the switch is that you can play it on your TV and then take it with you. By making it portable only, you're removing half of the functionality. Yeah, for a, like a third of the price. So, well, two thirds of the price. But I feel like also too, if you're making a portable only switch, there should still be a lot of the functionality of the regular switch. Like maybe there is a way to connect it to a TV. It's you know it's got Bluetooth, so you can connect up to like what eight controllers to it. Mm-hmm. So that's not a problem necessarily. You just have to make sure you get spare controllers. Yeah, you can buy a Joy-Con if you want to use yeah. certain Labo things. Yeah, I'm sure that's something that they're thinking about. But again. 
Labo didn't sell that great, and they're not looking to get gangbusters off of Labo. Yeah. So if you need a specific version of the Switch in order to use Labo, I don't think that they're going to be so upset about it. Yeah. You know? Especially the old Labo. Maybe the new Labo kits will support all different yeah. types of uh, of uh, Switch consoles. We also got $5 from Playboy182. You think you're better than us with your lavish beard and your bottled water? <laughs> <laughs> the bottled water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Matthew with $2. Here, have some free... Oh, that, we read that one already. But Beth Ann Oxendale, thank you for becoming a member thank here on you. YouTube. I appreciate it. Um, So, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. it, I don't think... I mean... But yeah, the the... Connecting to the TV is interesting. Yeah. I think that it makes a lot of sense to have the Joy-Cons built in, but it should still connect to uh, to a TV in yeah. some way. I don't know if it'll work in the current dock, though, because... The current dock is specifically set for the current Switch. Yeah, yeah. I'd imagine that if the Joy-Cons are built into the Switch, it'll be sm a little smaller. Yeah. Or like a little squ squished in horizontally. Yeah. Yeah. So then it won't fit in the it won't fit in that dock unless the the, the thumb sticks are flush, like they kind of are on the yeah. 3DS. So it'd be like a slider then. Yeah, I think they'll make a new dock for it that the that the old switch will also work for. Yeah, yeah, that that'll make sense. Mm -hmm. They'll make a new. They should anyway. The dock is only like this big, but for some reason all of the plastic is massive. Yeah. So they should make a make a newer port more portable dock. Yeah. Super sand. Thank you for the dollar. Thank you. Um, Deborah says, I'd be happy with a more powerful version of the Switch with exclusive Switch Pro only and some cross titles from PS4 and Xbox One in it. I don't like the whole, I don't like the whole exclusive. I don't like, they, cause you said know, segmenting stuff. Yeah. You're forcing people to buy a new Switch. Yeah. You know? That, that's something, especially in this day and age when like, you know, you buy an Xbox One game, you can play it on any Xbox One, even PC. Uh, you buy a PS4, you can play it. Buy a PS4 game, you can play it on any PS4. For the Nintendo to like segment it like that. Listen, I'm buying whatever they're making. Well, because yeah, I have you to. You have to, yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't wish that evil on anybody else. Right. If I didn't want, if I if I didn't need to make a video on it, I don't know if I would buy a new one. Right. You know. I mean, I bought the new 3DS. Why? Why did I buy that? Monster Hunter. You wanted to play I, Monster yeah, Hunter. Yeah, but I didn't even. I mean. I'm a big fan of getting uh, exclusive consoles, like yeah. cool-looking ones. Like that's why we have the uh, Star Wars Xbox 360. Yeah. That's why I have the Monster Hunter 3DS. I didn't really necessarily even care yeah. about Monster Hunter. I just wanted an exclusive 3DS. And guess what? I got it and played Monster Hunter. And I played a lot of Monster Hunter. You did. Not that great. <laughs> didn't like it. Holden Drake, five dollars. Hey guys, this is my first live show in the Wolf Den. Welcome. I love your videos. You guys are great. I hope you have a great time at PAX. Thanks, Thank man. You. Thanks, Holden. I hope I have a great time at PAX, too. <laughs> I hope you have a great time while we're at PAX. Yeah. Solo Link says, I'm buying a Switch on Friday. What game should I get? I have a whole video. On. Yeah. Just just type uh, Switch games on our YouTube channel, and you'll find something. It's actually the channel trailer. Yeah. If you're not subscribed. He actually did a video today on, uh, yesterday, on free games you can get for the Switch. I did. Yeah. Because now that you spent all this money on a new system, you don't have any money to spend on games, you can give those games a shot. True. Let me tell you a little story about that video. Tell well. me a story, Bob. So, on Monday, yes. 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 Monday, I got, I, I, well, on Sunday night, I sent the video out to MDB to yes. do the assembly edit. Mm -hmm. He sent it back to me on Monday. As he sent it back to me, I saw that Wood beat em ups put out a video five a uh, five dollar switch games oh and i was like great now everybody's gonna think i'm caught oh yeah. i'm trying to one up him because mine's free games whatever i'm just gonna make the video yeah made the video of course everybody's saying you know making the same person joke that we're the same person mm -hmm. blah, blah. um i'm like yeah yeah i expected this what i didn't know is that last week he made a free switch games video <laughs> so i did completely rip oh, him off. Wow. but i didn't well, i didn't see his video yeah. i didn't know that I only, uh, I only saw that after the fact. That's the problem with having all these people in the same space. Just, I know. It's just going to happen. But anyway, watch both of our videos. Fine, whatever. Yeah. Get double the information. Um, Bob's video is probably better anyway. 
Uh, Zombie Moose in the chat says they would be smart if they made the Switch Mini $150. So they said that there'd be three versions of the Switch selling alongside each other. Here's the problem. Nintendo always says that the versions they have now will sell alongside whatever they have coming next. Right. And that's just not true. This never been true. Yeah. It's not. They, they said, just lie they said about the that. DS, the original DS, was going to be a third pillar alongside the GameCube and the Game Boy Advance. And it pretty much killed the Game Boy Advance. Right. So, um, so them saying that the current Switch is going to fit in the middle, I don't know about that. Yeah. Uh, Zombie over here saying, uh, is that who said that? I don't know. Who's saying they wanted it to be 150 bucks for the cheap version. Yeah. I think that makes sense because they'd have to drop the price of the current Switch and make right. the premium Switch the $300 price. Because they can't. You don't talk back to me when you're doing that. I'm listening. We to need you. a little you're back talking. and forth. You're talking. So we I'm, need a back and forth. I was here. gonna. I was gonna back and forth when you were done. So please okay, finish. I'm done. All right. Yeah. You know. <laughs> you're such a bastard. No, I agree. Like you know, they can't. If they put out another version of the Switch, and the original version is probably gonna you know end production soon, and they're gonna focus solely on you know portable and the Pro, or just the Pro and just the portable. Right. So. They can't make the premium switch the only switch. No, they can't make it three hundred and fifty dollars. Right, and then have the current switch, the middle one, if they're going to try to get rid of the current switch. Yeah, which is what they always do mm -hmm. in the past. Hmm. Um, AJ says, to be fair, they keep the three DS on live support for longer than I expected. Well, the three DS is like its own thing. Yeah, they, I mean they the the original three DS they 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 kind of killed. Yeah. They, the original 3DS, they said they were, were going to sell that alongside of the new 3DS or whatever, but and they didn't. that didn't really happen yeah. that way. Um, the weirdest one says, Nintendo is built on lies, so like whatever <laughs> happens, happens. <laughs> it's true. Not on lies, but more like misinformation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's that. Yeah. So I, I believe we're getting at least one Switch. Right. This year. But I don't think... People... I think it'll be a premium one. I don't know about this new fangled one that's... I think it's important to say that it's definitely not Switch 2. Correct. Yeah, it's not a brand it's, new console. It's not a brand new console. It is just, you know, it's the iPhone 6S to the iPhone 6. Yeah. At most. Yeah. It, it, it's an iteration. And all of the same games will play on both. Yeah. So, <laughs> as far as I can don't, tell. I mean, I bet a lot of money on that. Don't worry your little heart. <laughs> Yo, Toe for Tech with the $2. Hope y'all heard about the Smash Z. Might be at PAX. What is that? What? Smash Z? Explain yourself. What is this thing? This is a weird Switch looking handheld gaming PC. Oh, it's on Indiegogo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Crowdsourcing, that's dangerous. Oh, the controller looks like a, like a Steam controller. This looks bizarre. It's also very expensive. Uh oh. Uh, not a, not a fan. Yeah, not a fan of that. Also, Bob Bob's B one two nine. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. So, next on the list here. All right. What do we got? Oh, let's talk about packs while we're talking about packs. Yes. Um. We're going to be there. We have appointments to play a lot of games. We do. So we're going to make a video on all the games that we're playing. Mm -hmm. um, Nintendo is also going to be there. We're going to try to sneak our way in, weasel our way in. Oh, boy. You should have told me. I would have brought my ski mask. <laughs> um, this article that I pulled up is from before the Nindies Direct. Um it's pure Nintendo? Yeah. Okay. They, Yoshi's Crafted World is going to be there. Dragon Quest Builders 2 is going to be there. A selection of anticipated indie games. So probably all, so the, probably ones, all the indie stuff. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Ooh. I'm going to play there. that. Uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, which we are playing at 505 Games, so not even nice. at uh, the Switch booth. Uh, Hellblade said soon as Sacrifice, also which nice. I want to play. Yeah. And Assassin's Creed 3 Remaster, which I don't really care about. Yeah. Um, that's good those are all big games yeah well yeah. those are the big ones yeah they put a selection of anticipated indie games right. which are 
the ones that they probably talked about yeah. in the uh, direct, or the ones that are going to come out soon anyway. Yeah. Like well, I don't, I don't know if like uh, Crypt of the Necro Dancer. Dancer, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that one's going to be there. What was? Oh, Cuphead. Cuphead, yeah. Yeah. Cuphead comes out soon, so Cuphead, Cuphead might, be, might there. be there. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't find a, an updated list. Right. But Cuphead, for sure, might be there, mm-hmm. uh, which would be awesome. But the games that are not at the Nintendo booth that we're going to play. Yes. Uh, Yacht Club Games. Ooh, Ooh, today they announced their new game. Yeah. So they... they Cave something, right? No, Cyber Ninja, I think. That's it, yeah. Yeah. Um, so they have some new... Sh- they have the new Shovel Knight DLC and stuff yeah. that we're going we're gonna to get to play. But... Now they have Cyber Ninja. Cyber Shadow. Cyber Shadow. A Ninja Gaiden-esque platformer. Yes. Yeah. Which looks amazing. Yes. It looks like freaking The Messenger, but yeah. which is unfortunate because <laughs> it's probably been in development for just as long. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it still looks freaking awesome. Uh, so we'll be playing that. Uh, what else is there? 505 Games got Bloodstained and Indivisible for the Switch. So That's Bloodstained, cool. Ritual of yeah. the Night. We'll get to play that. Finally, because yeah. it doesn't look that good. But the, the, it looks like it was getting worse and worse. It looked like it was Mighty Number no. Nine itself. But the other one they put out was really good, right? Yes, the the NES like game that they put out was uh, awesome. Jeez, yeah, that's so, gonna be embarrassing. <laughs> so I want to play that and yeah. see how it how it really feels. Uh, we got Wrath of Aeon of Ruin. What is that? Oh, is that one of the games I put up there? You, yeah, you put. You're All doing right, this. You, you, this is your situation. Let me just remember which one that and is. Ion Maiden. Oh, two yes. of them. Ion Maiden is a game by 3D Realms built on the Build Engine, which is the original Duke Nukem 3D engine. Okay. And Wrath, what was the full title? Wrath, Aeon of Ruin. That's a game, it's also 3D Realms, so it is built on the Quake 1 engine. Wow. Yeah. So 3D Realms, if for those of you who don't know, they were like the original developers of uh, Duke Nukem 3D, of Prey. They actually published the first two Max Payne games before Rockstar bought them, bought the rights. Um, they've been in a little funk ever since uh, Duke Nukem Forever <laughs> took way too long. But they're like rebuilding themselves, and now they have Ion Maiden, which is a brand new game built on the original Duke Nukem 3D engine, the build engine. And they got uh, Wrath, which is based on the Quake 1 engine. Uh, there's been a trend in like... PC first-person shooters to make new games built on, like, Quake 1 and, like, old technology. <laughs> I mean, it got you interested. Yeah, and I, f- I think, I forgot what the other one is, and it just came out on Switch. Mm. It's not Strafe, although that is another game that's, like, built Strafe, on- yeah, I remember Strafe. But yeah. it's not, it's not Strafe, it's a different game. Oh, I forgot what it is. Um, but yeah, so I'm interested to see, like, what, what 3D Realms, like, who pioneered this back in the day, like, has, mm-hmm. you know, in store for us. So that's why I put those on there, because that just looks rad. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I'm interested in that. Oh, uh, what is it? PC? Uh, for now, I think, but I think it's coming to more systems. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we also got uh, Square Enix is gonna have Final Fantasy ten, no Final Fantasy twelve, X twelve is throwing me off. Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy ten and Final Fantasy ten two. Yes. And what are those for? Is uh, that gonna be Switch? I think they're going to be Switch. Okay. Yeah, it's Final Fantasy... Wait, why does this... I think it's supposed to be Final Fantasy 12. Yeah, that's 10, it's, it's screwed me yeah. up too. Right, okay. Yeah, and... Well, because those are coming out for Switch and Xbox One. Okay. So I'm oh, pretty okay. sure this is the Switch version though. Right. Final Fantasy 7 just came out for Switch this week. Yeah. Yeah. True. Uh, also, Super Meat Boy Forever. Yes. Which is new and going to be on the Switch. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be great. So I'm going to play that. Yeah. Uh, the only ones that we don't have on here are Devolver Digital, which yeah. is going to have uh, my friend Pedro, yeah, which I'm excited about, and Katana Zero, which yes. I'm very excited about. Hopefully, Yacht Club Games' is his new game doesn't yeah. overshadow Katana Zero, but it's a completely different game. It yeah. feels very... Di- it, it's, it doesn't play the same. Mm-hmm. It just... They both got ninjas in it. Yeah. You know? And I know uh, if we didn't get... We couldn't get uh, into it, but... Dot EMU is going to have Streets of Rage 4 on the yeah, show well, floor. Yeah, that was also Developer Digital. Oh, it was Yeah, the same booth. Really? Because I thought, because uh, Sega is like now partnered with it, like officially. Oh, well, it was part of the same. Okay. Like, well, like either way, thing. we're going to play it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's all the yeah. stuff that at least caught my eye that's going to be at PAX. Yeah. There's going to be a lot more than that. Yes. So, 
uh, brace yourself. I'm mm -hmm. sure there's going to be there's there will be a video on all that. So if you can't yeah. make packs, if you can't play it yourself, don't worry about it. Uh, we got notification stuff. Wait, next fighter five dollars. I beat some kid up and stole his lunch money so I could donate. This is said lunch money. Thanks, man. Thanks. Anthony Piper with five dollars. Gotta hop on Apex, guys. Always enjoy your vids. Uh, and thanks for the great content as always. Wouldn't Apex on Pro be dope? I guess he means on like the Switch Pro. Yeah, or something. you're playing Apex, right? I play a little. I played a little bit yeah. of Apex. It's good. Yeah, I like it. I like Black Ops Battle Royale way better. Right. But Apex Legends is great if you have two other people to play with. Okay. If you don't. That Black Ops is way better. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got here. All right. Uh, hmm. Amanda Diaz says, please talk about Streets of Rage 4. That's Will's thing. Will, yeah. Will wants to play uh, I'm really excited for that because Streets of Rage is amazing. And I'm so happy there's going to be a fourth one. I just hope it's more, you know, Sonic 4 than Double Dragon 4. Because Double Dragon 4 sucked. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people didn't like Sonic 4. I thought it was great. Yeah, Sonic 4 was very good. Yeah. Septic Falcon over here says, There is also a rumor of 3D Realms wants to release the 2001 Duke Nukem Forever. Damn you, Gearbox, who hold the rights now. Uh, Gearbox is going to have... Uh, they have a panel tomorrow, and they're revealing uh, the new Borderlands. Uh, it showed a little bit of it today. Did you see the? Oh no, you don't. Care. No, I don't oh, give it. Too it looks really cool. I'm sure and it looks does. like there's one of the I'm characters from the original. Sure it does. Oh, great! One of the characters who doesn't shut the hell up. No, this is the only one who didn't speak. Oh, actually. oh, so the game might actually be palatable. <laughs> uh, but yo, if there is a rumor that 3D Realms is, wants to release the 2001 Duke Nukem Forever, great, because that game still looks good. <laughs> It was Wait, better than the one we got. Oh, yeah, okay. Like the original one where it's in Vegas. I'm thinking of the one for the three six. No, no, the one for the N64 that we have. Oh, that game Zero called? Hour. Zero, yeah, I'm thinking of Zero Hour. That, game's, that game was pretty good back in the day. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know how it is now, but... Um, uh, Dan says, Lizard Cube is really good. I have faith in Streets of Rage 4. Good. Oh, yeah, Dan did a video about that a while ago. Did he? Yeah. And I called him out because he's the whole thing was about how Sega is like given their properties to like fans to like make it make uh, games out of. And I'm like, yo, you forgot Toe Jam and Earl Four. And he's like, ah, crap. I have that. I haven't played it. Oh, oh, that's right. We got a Steam code for it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, ha I have that on the Switch too. Oh, okay. Um, Nintendo Noob says, "What is your favorite Nintendo handheld, not including the Switch?" I would say the Switch, Game Boy Advance. Which one? I mean, if you're being technical, the SP, but... Okay. I mean, the Game Boy Advance is the Game Boy Advance, yeah. Uh, I was going to say the DS Lite. That's a good one. Because I like the DS Lite. Yeah. Yeah. The DS Lite. Mm -hmm. um, all right, what else do we got here? Uh, let's see. Oh, we got this garbage. Uh... So PlayStation tried their own version of the Nintendo Direct. Yeah, what happened? Because like I tried to look up like a recap of it, and nobody had Here one. Here it is. I completely this missed it. This is the yeah. recap. Okay. <laughs> this is the thing, is that not nothing happened. <laughs> they didn't show any. Not, there's nothing to show. Okay. Um, it was called PlayStation's State of Play. They've called other events State of Play before. Mm -hmm. So The most interesting thing that they showed was... There's a lot of VR Iron Man stuff, VR. right? Yeah. There's a lot of VR. They should have probably called it something State about of VR. VR. Yeah, yeah, something like that because people got really disappointed that yeah. there's no like good information in this. Um, they're making an Iron Man game. Yeah. That could be cool for like 10 minutes. It looks really low budget and yeah. bad though. The animation looks bad. The I acting know. is awful. Um the gameplay that they show is like this weird canned gameplay of just you in the clouds. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know about that it's one. It's not very action packed or anything. Yeah, I'm not not a fan. It sh you should be like whizzing through buildings and stuff I like know. that, and controlling where you go. That'd be and really like, cool. You know, maybe fighting like super villains like Iron Monger, the Mandarin. Mm -hmm. That would be cool to see. Yeah, yeah. Instead, you got this that what looks like a mobile game, it, but it's VR. It kind of just looks like um, 
I want to say Space Harrier, but like less exciting than Space, <laughs> Space Harrier. Space Harrier is way more exciting yeah. than that, yeah. Uh, then there's No Man's Sky. Uh, you can now play it in VR, which okay. is cool. Everybody thought that No Man's Sky was going to be a VR mm-hmm. game when it was coming out. It's uh, weird how like No Man's Sky four years later is finally the game everybody wanted it to be. Yeah, I know. <laughs> my problem with this trailer, my problem with many VR games. Yeah. How do you move? They don't show you in this trailer how you move. Mm. Everything's in the spaceship, or when you're outside the spaceship, he's not moving. Oh, yeah. here he is underwater moving, but it doesn't show you how. He's just kind of floating around. Oh, here yeah. he's walking. He was walking a little bit. Oh, okay. That so maybe suggests it- that you use just a controller to like move. Yeah. I was concerned if it was going to be mo- moving with the controller or or like warping. Yeah. You know. Well, that's good because then this way, you know, anybody can play it. They don't have to go out and get move controllers. Iron Man looks like you need move controllers. Right. Well, I don't know what's better, using a controller or warping. Because yeah. using, if you use the thumbstick, you get sick because that's unnatural. And mm-hmm. warping is also unnatural. Well, warping is good for room scale VR. Yeah. Because then you can move around a little bit and then you yeah. warp to somewhere else, you know. So, like, you you can you use your own, your actual real world mobility. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I haven't touched my PlayStation VR in a million years. <laughs> Trover saves the universe was probably the coolest thing that we. Saw. I heard you listen to it before. That's Justin Roiland's game, right? Yes, he he's, sounds like he voices yeah every single character. Um, this looks great. Mm-hmm. They dropped a lot of f bombs in, yeah. in the trailer. <laughs> Surprised that they let that happen. Um, but it looks good. It looks funny. One thing about this trailer. I don't see any VR gameplay because everything looks like it's third person. Oh, there it is. That was for two seconds. Yeah. For two seconds, they showed it on a TV. Because, uh, oh wait, I think you can play both in VR or on the TV. That'd be really cool. That would be cool. That would be ideal. More games should do that. But then again, if they you can do both, then why bother going for VR? Mm. Play on TV or in VR, yes. Yeah. So the gameplay is just on the little TV, like on a... Uh, that's stupid. Yeah. But it looks like it's going to be third person. Yeah. Which is interesting, because mm-hmm. it's a VR game. Or it can be VR. You liked this Mortal Kombat 11 old school versus new school trailer. I did. I, I thought I, it was cool. It. It, um, it showed a lot more like the time travel, like what happens because of the time travel that's in the game. So you have like past Liu Kang and Kung Lao meeting their future selves, and their future selves are zombies from Mortal Kombat X. Oh. Um, and Kung Lao's like, our future is weird, Liu Kang. <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, I think it's cool. I think this game is going to be great. Uh, I still don't know if I'm going to get it on PS4 or Switch, but I'm kind of upset. I mean, it was in the last trailer, and I think it better exemplifies the what they were trying to go for in this trailer. There's a part in the last trailer where it's the two Johnny Cages, the future, who's like serious in the past, who's still mm-hmm. like an, an idiot. And Johnny Cage is like, can somebody, old Johnny Cage is like, can somebody tell me what's going on here? And young Johnny Cage is like, I know, right? I've been in the future for an hour and I haven't seen a single jetpack. <laughs> Not one. I don't know. I don't know about this. Uh, you're, you're a Mortal Kombat guy, though. Yeah, especially the more recent ones. I mean, yeah. if the story is usually, I mean, Mortal Kombat 2011, 2011 had a good story, but like Mortal Kombat X kind of didn't. Um, but no matter what, the gameplay has been like solid as ever. All so. right. All right. Yeah. Uh, then there's also Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, which isn't VR. No. But I think like the big deal was, aren't they bundling it with the original Crash Team Racing? Uh, are they? Doesn't I, I don't see anything about it. Okay. Doesn't. Maybe say. I made that up. PS4 exclusives and oh, what's it say? PS4 exclusives and Crash Nitro Kart content reveal trailer. Oh, so you get content for it, and this looks okay. like a very polygonal face of the girl, whatever that one is. Yeah. All right. Well, and then there's also some stuff for Days Gone, which yeah. I'm the. Somebody said Days Gone is just every AAA game rolled into one. I've heard that. It's like the most triple A game. Yeah, that's yeah. what that's what and that's what it looks like. Yeah. I'm not I'm not interested in this game. Yeah. I feel like uh, this game's gonna suffer. Like Sony's gonna put a lot of weight behind it and it's like gonna be like average at best. I don't know and- who's like really waiting for this game. Cause like 
We already got The Last of Us 2 coming out. I know. So we got we got a zombie game already. Yeah. We got a post-apocalyptic zombie game already. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't know about this. Um, but that was it. That was all that they showed. Uh, um, so that's... And they're not going to be at E3. I know. So they, What's going on here? So they got really nothing. Yeah. They got nothing going on. We're just over here waiting for... Um, What's it called? Uh, Kojima's game. What the hell? Death Stranding. I'm having a stroke. Yeah. We're over here waiting for Death Stranding and The Last of Us 2. Yeah. Out of uh, freaking Sony. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. And Ghost of Tsushima, but at this point, I don't know if that's even coming out on PS4. That, yeah, that, I keep getting that confused with Sekiro. Yeah. Um, Yeah. They also had this state of play the same day as the, the, um, the Apple announcement. Yeah. Yeah. Which, uh, uh, did you want to talk about that? Because there's really not much to talk about. I guess. They're coming out with um, their own um, Apple Arcade. It's going to be a subscription base. Well, let's talk about that later. Because okay. I do want to, if they're doing gaming stuff, I want to talk right. about that. I watched most of it. I was following the live blog of it. And it's like, I still don't understand what Apple TV Plus is. Um, but we did get dylan pierce five dollars will yeah. do you suggest i watch captain marvel before endgame your video drops the spoiler warning before telling me the answer bad video design hi bob a lot of people gave me crap for that like saying that i was going to spoil like captain marvel and i kind of see where they're coming from but in order to explain why i felt that way about captain marvel i had to say certain things about the plot <laughs> you're right i don't see how you can well yeah, I don't see how you could have done that any better. Yeah, I mean, you could have just said, uh, "Yes, see Captain Marvel," but yeah. then, um, but then, but here's the thing: I say, then you don't have, then nobody I has get, to watch the rest of the video. Before I get into plot details, I say, maybe. I mean, it is it is kind of a, a maybe. That's the thing. Like, it's you, you you get an understanding of who Carol is, but I don't think it's necessarily enough so that if you if when you go to see Endgame, you're gonna be confused because chances are. Even if Captain Marvel didn't come out, you already have an idea, like, this person is important. Um, if you know anything about comics, you know what that logo meant. You know who the character is. Um, so you should, it's kind of like with Iron Man. You technically don't need to see the first Iron Man before you see the Avengers. Because the Avengers does a decent enough job of catching up to speed on who Tony Stark is. Mm. So I feel like Endgame is going to do something similar to that. Yeah. Um, also, it's such a small... <laughs> like thing that happens it's very in Captain removed Marvel. from like the rest of like the mcu what's going on in yeah so like captain marvel as a whole i don't think is important there's yeah. like one part maybe yeah but I, that might even be in endgame so yeah so i would i would say no but it's not gonna hurt you like True. it's it's extra credit basically i would say just see it because it's a good movie yeah or do that um Nicholas Dunn with five bucks. Can you call it Switch if it doesn't connect to the TV? Also, could the premium be better equipped for streaming games? You guys are great. Keep it up. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's like what I was saying. You yeah, know. the 2DS. Yeah. <laughs> they, they can't call it 3DS because yeah. it doesn't have... They, they can call it the, the, the no switch. <laughs> the flat. The, 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 the lame. I don't know what the opposite of Switch is. I'm going to look up what the opposite of Switch is. Um, could the premium be better equipped for streaming games? Uh, Maybe, yeah. yeah. It has got a better processor. Maybe just a better Wi-Fi card because it's got a pretty terrible Wi-Fi yeah. card. Well, no, it's all right. The Wi-Fi card on the Switch is all right. It's better than the PlayStation 4. The PlayStation 4 is a terrible Wi-Fi card. Yeah. Uh, ant antonyms for Switch. Stagnation and inactivity. Stag the stagnation. Yeah, the Nintendo stagnation. <laughs> <laughs> um all right so playstation state of play not good mm -hmm. uh not gonna be a good year for playstation this year no. but next year it's gonna be great because they're gonna have new consoles next year mark my words and they're we're gonna have freaking uh, uh uh having a stroke again on kojima's game death stranding and, <laughs> death stranding and uh the last of us too mm -hmm. all right so the only other thing I I don't really want to talk about EA laying off 350 employees. Yeah, that's because not, not really much to say. Yeah, 
other than they're laying off 350 employees. I did see somebody tweet, um, EA laid off all the uh, 350 employees, but they were able to pay Ninja a million dollars to play. That's how marketing. Yeah. That's marketing. But still, you know, they have a point. No one would say that if it was a TV commercial, if it was a Super Bowl ad. I guess. If EA had a Super Bowl ad, no one would be like, they had a million dollars to pay for that Super Bowl ad, though. Um, EA made a statement. It says, this is a difficult day. The changes we're making today will impact about 350 roles in our 9,000-person company. These are important but very hard decisions, and we do not take them lightly. We are friends and colleagues at EA. We appreciate and value everyone's contributions, and we are doing everything we can to ensure we are looking after our people to help them through this period to find their next opportunity. This is our top priority. Um I saw, oh, well, here you go. The publisher said it would attempt to find positions elsewhere in the company for some of the affected employees, and a representative that conf later confirmed the publisher would provide, quote, severances and other resources to employees who were laid off. Mm -hmm. uh, according to an employee working in one of the affected departments, these layoffs had been expected for a while now, and EA had placed hiring and travel freezes on marketing for several months. Uh, an organizational uh, reshuffle within the marketing and publishing divisions had also been known about since last October. Oh, so this was the marketing and publishing divisions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe they got all got fired for giving Ninja a million dollars. Yeah, there you go. Um, they didn't have money to pay their salaries, so they had enough money for Ninja. To yeah. <laughs> well, apparently they knew that this was going to happen for yeah. a long time, so they knew that they were going to be lo losing their jobs. Which is like EA, uh, not EA, Activision. Like, everybody knew that that was coming. Oh, they did? Yeah. I didn't know that. I well, thought it was like, I don't know. Everybody that. knew that it was coming, but nobody was, like, saying anything. It was one of those deals. Oh, well, this, yeah. I think that they, they... They explicitly knew. They explicitly were like, hey, uh, we're going to be changing some things, so yeah. I don't know what your job's going to have. What's going to yeah. happen with you? We're going to try to find a new place at the company for you, or mm -hmm. we might have to let you go. So that sucks. Mm -hmm. That is just this is the freaking. You want to work in the games industry? This is the type Don't. of garbage you have to deal with. Um. All right. What? All right. So, do you have anything about the Apple event? Uh, let me look it up. All right. All right. So, uh, the first thing that they showed was Apple News Plus. Yeah, it's basically. It's weird because it's basically a magazine stand, mm -hmm. but they had that like years ago. <laughs> it's they tried they made this big deal about buying up all these mag like getting all these magazines to like yeah. have Apple versions and be formatted for your devices. If you take a magazine or an article, if you take an article and format it for your phone or your computer, that's called a website. Yeah, you just made a website. I don't. Why I don't. do you got to do this now? Because there's, so, I guess, because like magazines are like structured a certain way. You know, people. You know, people like reading like books and stuff. It's a status thing. It's it's to be like we have all these magazines yeah. on our platform now. Magazines are just as antiquated as the radio. Right. We don't need yeah. that crap anymore. We got it all on our devices now. Mm -hmm. The only people who buy magazines are doctors' offices. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and it's always the same magazines. Yeah. So. That I think that that's I think that that is not looking into the future. That's yeah. looking into the past and trying to you know make it work for trying to make a dying medium work. Yeah, you know, it just it, I think that was stupid. I, I don't I don't know. I feel like I don't see. I feel like the, you know they want this to be a big deal, but I don't think it's going to be. I think it's gonna yeah. be one of those things where like they they think it's gonna like change the way we read magazines, and it's gonna be like no. I completely. I'm agree. pretty sure you can already subscribe to magazines through Apple Books. You can too. subscribe to magazines on their websites. Yeah, and get the PDF versions or yeah. or or the Wall Street Journal. Read it online. You yeah. know, you don't need that crap. Yeah. No, no, no. I put an Apple Arcade article on the keep. All right. If you want to check that out. Um, they also announced their brand new credit card. That was weird. It was very weird. So Apple, they are the biggest company, right? Yeah. They have the most money. I think so. Of any company like between in them America, and, between a, them and Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the only way for them to be to command more money is to be a bank. 
Well, it, it's through Goldman Sachs. Oh, okay. It's not through them. It's right. like they, they're teamed up with Goldman Sachs and MasterCard to make this. That's interesting. Yeah. They they were very big on the fact that it is super secure. That, like, Goldman Sachs That's doesn't important. get your information. Apple doesn't get your information. It works with Apple Maps, but it, all the processing is done on your device, not in the cloud. Um, and they will not sell any of your purchasing information. Correct. And everybody claps. Yeah. <laughs> like that wasn't expected. Yeah. Like everybody's like, good on you, Apple. Yeah. Um, they made a big deal about how there's like no no annual fees, uh, no international fees, no uh, other weird fees. The interest rate is very low. Um, all the all, like all these things that sound good. You get. Two or three percent cash back. So it's it's three percent back cash back if you buy something from Apple directly. Oh, it's like yeah, it's two percent cash back if you use Apple Pay anywhere. That means your phone, and it's one percent uh, cash back if you use the card, the physical card, mm -hmm. like anywhere. And that physical card is going to be titanium. And not have anything on it except your name and the Apple logo. <laughs> they had uh, Jonathan Ives talk about it, right? Yeah. They did one of those things. They did one of those things yeah. like how they manufactured the iPhone, but it was the freaking credit card. Yeah. So, the credit card itself is not a bad credit card, but the points, like the rewards program is not any better than like your average, you know, entry level credit card. You know, yeah. like there are other banks that offer entry level credit cards with just as good, if not better rewards. I'd imagine that they, it's just all about the technology. Yeah. They want you to, they really, they want you to use your phone and Apple pay on your phone. Yeah. Which I've started using recently and I've only used it like maybe five times. <laughs> the Apple pay? I've yeah. never used it before. The only life. reason why I used it is because I forgot to put, have one of my credit cards in my wallet. So I added it to my phone. And once once the novelty wore off, I've been using my credit card. Where again. do you even use that? At work, because at the cafeteria they have uh, Apple Pay there, and that's it. And I spoke to one of my coworkers. He's like, "Yeah, this is the only place I use." It. So I basically only use an Amazon card because right. we buy everything on Amazon, mm -hmm. and that gets five percent cash back from Amazon. Yeah. So Apple can't even meet that. Can yeah. even match Amazon exactly. on their own yeah. stuff. And Amazon does the one percent back on all purchases and two percent back at restaurants, gas and stations, stations, and drugstores. Yeah. And I'm sure that there's other cards that are better than that. Yeah. That are better than, than Apple's card. That's yeah. dumb. I know. I didn't know it's, it's that dumb. It's, it's, it's strange because it, it's, it's a typical beginner's card. Like, you know, if, you're, if you want your kid to have a credit card and, like, you want it to have something like no fees and whatnot, that's, like, a card to get them. But at the same time, like, Apple really only wants you to use it on your phone. Yeah. And, like, within their ecosystem. So like it's it's not really a, that good of a card. It was reminding me of the Cash app. Have you heard about that? It's Twitter's yeah version of that. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. So it all goes back to PayPal and X.com. They mm -hmm. wanted to they wanted to crush the banks. They wanted yeah. the future to have no banks. They wanted yeah. to be they wanted to change how banks worked. Mm -hmm. And they didn't and they sold off PayPal and called it a failure. Yeah. They they like we don't want to be eBay's little side bitch. We want to we wanted to change banks. So goodbye. Mhm. Mm Twitter is doing that now with the Cash App. They're trying to, um, they're trying to make something similar to that. And the cool thing about the Cash App, which also has a debit card or something, yeah. um, that gives you reward points for like play, certain places. Like you can add perks and get like fifteen percent off at like Chipotle and stuff, yeah. which is kind of cool. Um, but that's just Twitter trying to get into the money game. And this is yeah. Apple trying to get into the money game. It's all weird. This, yeah. is, this is a weird time that we're living in now. I, I read somewhere like trying to, you know, make sense of the cashback deal. Um, on screen they showed like uh Bloomingdale's, they got like fifteen dollars cash back. But per Apple's math, in order to get that money back, they would have to spend like one thousand five hundred dollars at Bloomingdale's, mm -hmm. which is like if you're spending that much money on Bloomingdale's, you got a problem. Yeah, no, that's, that's also, too, if you, you know, not a lot of stores except Apple Pay. Uh, one of the ones that does is the Apple Store. So if you get, you know, if you buy a three thousand dollar MacBook, three percent back, that's like, you know, maybe thirty dollars. Yeah. That's yeah. That's not, I can't believe Amazon's is better. Yeah. That's, well, Amazon's is better if you have Amazon Prime, but everybody has Amazon Prime. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. You're paying for that, I guess. Yeah. But it's worth it. 
But you spend if you're buying something at the Apple Store, you're already spending so much. Yeah, should be at least five percent. Mm-hmm. That's dumb. Uh, all right, so what's this about uh, the Apple okay. Arcade? Apple has created a monster. This is from The Verge. Free-to-play games have taken over the iOS App Store almost entirely, creating a marketplace that is dominated by scam, oh, by yes. scammy timers and cheap monetization schemes. Um, one that no doubt, one that no amount of quality game design, curation, promotion have been able to fix. But now, after years of profiting off the system, Apple is here with the alleged cure: the Apple Arcade. Apple Arcade promises dozens of high-quality premium games which will solely focus on entertainment or art, not squeezing money out of players, the sort of games that have struggled to find a place in the modern App Store economy. No ads, no lockout timers, no in-app purchases, no always-on internet connections. Pay Apple a monthly fee and it promises access to hundreds of titles that won't be available anywhere else, plus cross-platform play lets you pick up and play on your Mac, your iPhone, or your Apple TV. And Apple is investing heavily in the service, not only paying up for exclusive titles, but actually helping to fund development. It sounds like an interesting proposal on the surface, a combination of the most appealing features of Xbox Game Pass and Nintendo Switch, but with the ability to work to both work on the go and on the big screen. Uh, but can Apple really p- uh, put the free-to-play genie back in the bottle with Arcade? Um, so basically, it's a subscription service that's going to focus primarily on, you know, Paid games. So like games that cost like, you know, five dollars, ten dollars, you know, the, the quote unquote more hardcore games are going there. But so I could can I buy them piecemeal or do I have to pay for Apple can, Arcade? I think you could still buy them piecemeal. This is just a way to get people who probably wouldn't normally play these games on the phone to play these games on the phone. Because I in the conference they said like for the most part, people buy the free games. But the premium games aren't are suffering because of it. True. You know? So the free model is ruining things for a lot of people. Yeah. Because you you can only do so much with such a limited budget. You know? Yeah. Like games are getting more and more expensive to make, but people are willing to spend less and less on them. Yeah. Which is crazy. Um. So that sucks. This makes me think that uh, Apple has an opportunity to go head to head with. Uh, Google with yeah. Stadia, they could absolutely make a streaming service. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know if they are. But Apple has such this weird relationship with games. They do. You know, like they will talk about like how their Mac can't, like Mac OS and like the latest MacBooks can run certain games, and then never talk about it again. Yeah. You know, they they like talk about it once, and then you know, there's no promotion of it on iOS. Like. Games are a were a side effect of the App Store. Like they weren't anticipating that. Yeah, they they, be, they they weren't like gung ho about making the iPhone the number one gaming device. Yeah, and they yeah. really had never have been. Everybody else was like, the iPhone is the best gaming device. Oh, consoles are dead. Well, it's not that iPhone. it's the best. It's just that it's what everybody well, has. Did you know what I mean? Like every like, you might as well be saying the iPhone is the most popular camera. Because it is. Well, yeah, that's know? like back when the, before the PS4 came out, they're like, "Oh, why is everybody bothering? The iPhone is the is the, the superior gaming platform. Everybody has it." And then the PS4 came out and sold all the consoles. Mm. So, but like Apple never re- like they'll get behind it every once in a while, but other than that, you know, they it's it's very strange. they have an opportunity to make it like a, a crazy gaming device, but they but they have that opportunity all the time and they never do right. Well, this is a step in that direction. This is a step a in that very, direction. Very small baby step. But like, you know, if I were to go into the Mac App Store and search for games, they have a lot of like AAA titles on there. They have Tomb Raider, they have Deus Ex, they have Arkham, you know, but, you know, they don't do anything with it. You right. know, it, the App Store on the Mac is not a Steam competitor, which it probably can be. It absolutely could yeah. be. Yeah. It, it went, like, I'm thinking back, like, if I was a kid now mm-hmm. and all I got is my iPhone and maybe I have a Switch. Yeah. You know? But I want to play Call of Duty. Yeah, I don't. Have, I can't play Call of Duty on my Switch. You can play it on your phone though, because yeah. they're making a Call of Duty, or you can play that garbage, uh, whatever they call it, that Call oh. of Duty knockoff. Oh, uh, Modern Combat. Yeah, you can yeah. play Modern Combat. But Call of Duty is coming to the Switch. Uh, it, it is it's mobile. So there you go. Yeah, they just made a bunch of money with a bunch of kids yeah. who wanna, you know don't have a, a way to play a game like that yeah. or Fortnite. Well, Fortnite now it's on the Switch, but yeah. before. You know, everybody was playing it on mobile. 
and there was a, you know same thing with with PUBG. It was yeah. mo- most popular on mobile. So, and I think that there are some great games that only work on mobile. Yeah, I haven't played Monument Valley two, but that's a game that I want because Monument yeah. Valley one is my favorite mobile game probably. That's actually an example that The Verge uh, mentions. Monument Valley two they is showed like the, it the type of thing. candidate. Yeah, because yeah. it was like a, a premium game. Like it costs one flat fee, and you get this like big you know epic game. Um, and while it, you know that game sold well, you know it, it ultimately gets lost in the shuffle. I don't because think it sold free- as well as the first one did, though. right? Because back it, then that was like all cool, yeah. to, to pay that much. I'm down to pay two dollars for whatever friggin' game yeah. you got, you know. Even if if they have a free version with ads and a and a two dollar version without ads, I always pay the two dollars. Yeah. I don't I don't need to be bothered with the ads. Um, they didn't announce. Uh, f- the price for it yet though of course they didn't mm. um but they didn't know some of developers they had uh f- in support of it they I'm showed to final find... fantasy didn't they well final fantasy games are like 15 dollars on yeah. ios <laughs> for some reason i'm trying to find a list of like developers oh while you look for that i right. will oh here we go Oh, well, then do it then. All right, we'll do what you're going to do. I was just going to say, Nicholas Dunn. Did I say that already? Well, can you call? No, yeah, we did that one. Zombie Moose, $2. Uh Yeah, I'm going to subscribe to Apple to play mobile. Don't know if that's right. I don't know what what you're talking about. Jacob Gill with $5. Support. Thanks, Jacob. Thank you. Uh, All right, so they got people like Anna Purina Games, uh, Skybound, Mist Walker, Way Forward. Skybound. Yeah, like the Walking Dead game. Jeez. And I think they have other games. Uh, f- do, 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 do. Sumo Digital, uh, Lego, Sega, Disney, uh, Devolver, Cartoon Network, Platinum, uh, Game Loft, because of course. Of course, Game Loft. Yeah. Yeah, no, they got some, they got some good names on there. Yeah, I'm not going to be subscribing to this. Thing. Yeah, probably I'm not. not. I'm not yeah. playing much of my phone no. anymore. I deleted like four games off my phone because I haven't touched them. So. Yeah, I need to. I run out of space yeah. all the time on my phone. But there's some I just yeah. don't want to get rid of. They did say among the games subscribers will be able to play through Apple Arcades are Overlord, uh, Sonic Racing, Beyond the Damn. Steel Sky, Oceanhorn 2, Knights of the Lost Realm, and Fantasian, a new title from Final Fantasy creator Hironobu Sakaguchi. Yeah, they interviewed him for, yeah. for this. Um. I will say you walk into an Apple store and they have an Apple TV set up with Fortnite on it. And a controller. And a controller. Yeah. So it's like, like why? Why do you have that? It's because know. people people will play games on whatever they have. Yes. You know? And it's it's because like, you know, like the moms and dads are like going to buy an Apple TV and the kids are like, oh, I can play Fortnite on it? Yeah. I definitely want it, you know? Yeah. I have Sonic 2 on my Apple TV and trying to play in with the stupid controller oh is like God. the worst thing I would have to get. But then again, I can play Sonic 2 on like 100 devices in my house already. You can't so. plug in like a, you can't use like a pro controller because it's Bluetooth. No. Or the 8-bit do one. The 8-bit do one should work. It doesn't. Why not? Because Apple requires it to be an MFI certified controller. What the hell does that mean? MFI is like, you know, made for iPhone. Me for iOS. That's dumb. Yeah. The old ones say that they work on iOS. The old they, do, do they, all, they do, but the new ones don't. That's what, So you can use an old 8-bit Duke controller? Yeah. Oh, well, it has to, it has to say, like, the made for iOS or be M- M5 certified. That's dumb. And I think only, like, Steel Series makes controllers that are hmm. made for iOS. All right. Well, yeah, I'm not getting that. And uh, the only other thing that they talked about was their uh, movie streaming. Their, yeah, their TV Apple TV streaming. Plus, which I don't understand. They still didn't. They didn't like really all, say anything. They had all their celebrity friends come out and be like, "Yeah, we're excited to work on this." Bye. <laughs> One of them was Steven Spielberg, who talks about how those types of movies shouldn't be uh, or shows shouldn't be awarded Emmys or anything. Yeah, it's <laughs> no. He, he said like streaming movies, like you know Netflix originals and. Amazon Prime Originals should not get Oscars. They should get Emmys because they're made for TV. Um, Spielberg has made TV shows before. Like, he's had a hand in TV. Um, Animaniacs, Pinky and the Brain, Freakazoid. I just named the three best cartoons in the 90s. <laughs> um, so, like, he, he knows how that works. He's just very... Old. Old. <laughs> 
and antiquated. I read somewhere he also was like against like buying movies on VHS because it's like they they need to be in the theater. Damn it. I heard he also owned slaves. <laughs> <laughs> he took the wrong lessons from Amistad. <laughs> um. I don't like when when people who have been in an industry for so long and then they see it shift and they go ah yeah not about that yeah there's a great documentary uh, by Keanu Reeves of all people called Side by Side <laughs> you know it's really good because he interviews like a hundred directors and, like big name directors and it's all about the shift from filming on film to filming uh, on digital I heard about this it's really good and like he he interviews like all the you know, I'm never going to switch to digital. And then he interviews like, no, dude, switching to digital is great. You know. They're frig- freaking filming the new Pokemon movie on film. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Because they, they want to have like a noir look to yeah. it. But most of it's CGI. <sighs> yeah. Why Why even bother? I mean, <sighs> it's not. you're not helping yourself. Well, there, there's to a certain extent. Well, no, maybe not. The people are gonna be like film grained. Yeah. And they have to add the artificial they have, they film, film grain, grain yeah. to everything else. Well, with film, there's certain you can like do certain things. The special, like the special effects, don't have to be as good as they are in digital. Because with digital, because the you know theoretically it's clearer, you have to like you know make sure like everything looks a certain yeah, way. Adding the artificial grain afterwards. I know. What's the difference? I know. Every, really, everything should be shot on digital by this point. Yeah. Even the new Star Wars movies. Yeah, I said it. Are they not? The f- episodes seven, eight, nine are shot on film, and that was part of the whole marketing because oh, that that bad man George Lucas shot the prequels on digital, so we can't have that. Seeing seeing those movies, you know, when the like super wide IMAX where they yeah. like make the screen bigger for like two scenes, yeah. not worth it. <laughs> Stay home. See it on, on the little tiny screen in your hometown. Yeah. Also, fine. Uh, when that, this will be the end of it. So Mission Impossible Fallout mm-hmm. was shot um, using, you know, shot using 35 millimeter film. Um, but two of the IMAX segments were shot using digital IMAX cameras. And I couldn't tell the difference. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I can, yeah. yeah. There's always so much happening that you just can't, yeah. you can't tell the difference between every little mm-hmm. thing. All right. Uh, I read everything, right? Yeah. All right, and those are all the stories. Yes. We have a very important. We have some very important unboxings to unbox. Yes. Let's let's do that. Um, yeah, I read everything here. Okay. Uh, what did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to I wanted to click a little timer on my stopwatch. Boop. Okay. okay. Uh, all right, we got this postcard first, and it doesn't say not to read it, so I'm gonna read it. Okay. Hey boys, just watching your live stream today and noticed the address you put in the description. I'm an Aussie living in Osaka, Japan. Oh, crikey. <laughs> and I really enjoy your videos. Have you guys been to Japan before? No. No. And I very much it's, want it's to. On, it's on the list. Uh, have you guys been? Oh, I read that yeah. right. <laughs> anyway, keep making quality content. Sending you lots of good vibes. Cheers from Eddie. Thank you. Uh, or arigato. <laughs> arigato onegashimasu. I think I just said, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. Um, what was I going to say? I think Osaka means small hill. I don't know. I, One of the towns that, over there feel means like, small I hill. I feel like that's correct. It might be Osaka. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the card. Yeah, though. thank you. It has it has some Japanese on it. It's a, a little stamp says Nippon. That's Ooh. the little train, I think. Yeah. All right. I'm going to open this one. This is the one that you want to see. You know what? No, I'm going to sit down for last. Okay. We're going to open the, the Amazon one first. I don't know who sent this. I don't know what's going on here. All but. right. Do you have the knife? I uh, sure do. All right. What uh, do we got over here? The Amazon ones never have any, any sort of like ind- indicator of what the hell it is. Yeah. Oh, is this Switch stuff? That's going to be loud. Uh, what the hell is this? We got some sort of, <laughs> these look like switch cases. Yeah, that's a switch case. As if we don't have enough already. There, here you go. Thank you. This is branded I I am her. Oh, is this a, is this a gift note? No. I am her, you're right. Yeah. These are all from I A M E R. Hmm. So this is a, this is definitely a switch case, but 
Check, it's got a molding for oh, like a controller and it cool. looks like the charger. That's, that's good. That's interesting. You need a place for your charger. So I guess this is like if you want to bring like just your controller and a charger to your friend's house. Mm. Or maybe you can put the switch in in the zipper part mean, that's I, broken. I, I, I always it. bring the switch, yeah. the charger, and I would like to be able to bring a Pro Controller. Sometimes I bring yeah. a Pro Controller. I have a special case for my Pro Controller. You do, so I've that, seen it, yeah. So that is kind of a cool idea. Although this looks kind of, kind of small for a controller. Nah, it definitely I, fits a Pro Controller. I don't know. Test it out. Um, Are they all yeah, a hammer? Or? Yeah, watch out my knife over yeah. here. All right. This, things are going to fall out of that. Yeah. Be careful. This is a regular size Switch case, and it comes with a whole lot of things. Like a plastic Joy-Con covers, a plastic shell, uh, a lot of knickknacks. I'd a lot say. Of, yeah, a lot of trinkets, a lot of tchotchkes, rubber uh, Joy-Con hol uh, holders, two different Switch game cases. Which it I don't like I, peanut butter. It does. I don't know why you would need these if they're in the case. <laughs> True. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. This has a screen protector. So does this. And this has those stupid little things you put on the thumbsticks that we tell you never to do. This is the same thing that, as the one that you have. Yeah. It's got the same sort of controller yeah. spot. But it has it has the, the Joy-Con oh, Joy grips, but it's yeah. just it's this it's individual Joy-Con yeah, grips. Yeah, that's a big market. Like I always Is it a big market or is it just something that people try to sell? Well, I guess it's something people there's a big market of people trying to sell it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that. Interesting. Cool, man. Yeah. Well, thanks. Uh, now this is this is All the right. main event here. This is the main this course. Is, this is what I'm talking about. So, I made the video on the OSSC. Yes. Well, first we were talking about getting the uh, the, the analog Mega SG. We were talking about getting that for a yeah. while, and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna order it because I, I can make a video on yeah. it. Yeah. Um. So I ordered it. And right after I made the OSSC video, Analog was like, hey, do you uh, do you want one? And I was like, yeah. So I guess this is the review unit. Yeah. The one that everybody is currently reviewing. Yes. And we can't because we're going away. Yeah. So that'll probably take an extra week. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got another one of these. Sweet. Oh, this is the 2.4 gigahertz one. 2.4. 2.4. This is tiny. Dude, apparently it's like the size of like three CD cases. This is super yeah. tiny. Oh, it's the Japanese ver uh, variant. Oh, well, I think I got the American variant. Yeah. So you can have whatever one you want. Sweet. I mean, it still plays. It's it still, yeah, no, the variant just means like the, the color of the buttons are different. Oh, the box is real nice. Yeah. So this will play uh, Sega Genesis games. Sega Mega Drive games, all regions, uh, Master System games with the adapter, uh, eventually Game Gear games with the adapter. It's a good peel. This is freaking nice. Yeah. Uh, and you can link it to a Sega CD to play Sega CD games. Ooh, damn. Yeah. I mean, you can't, you're not, it's going to be blurry. Yeah. It's, it's real nice. So what makes it the Japanese version is the two buttons are red and blue. Like the Japanese color scheme, the American uh, version it's red and white, and then the European version both buttons are white. Why is this like a mouse pad? Oh, so get the, so Thanks that's here for Sega CD. Yeah, because when you try to connect it to a Sega CD, the the spacing is off. So you put that down, and it makes it level. What spacing is off? Uh, between this and the Sega CD. It's like the contacts, but there's still oh, like space below it. Oh, so it's like makes it tall big, enough oh, to, yeah. Oh, I see. Oh. I saw a picture of like this connected to a Sega CD. It looks silly. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, okay, so then it comes with uh, an HDMI cable. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a uh, cable. Yeah, micro USB. And a little adapter for uh, Master System. Master system we got to start getting some Master System games. We don't have one? I don't think so. What Master System game do we have? No, we don't have any. Yeah. I have... You have a Sega CD game. I have an Atari game. I have Asteroids. What? Yeah. I have Golden Axe for something. Do we? Oh, I put away the, the back... Oh, no, it's still open. <laughs> Gold, I have Golden Axe for something. Uh, not according to the backlog. <laughs> All right, well, I'll have to look then. Yeah. Um... 
No, I'm very excited to check this out. Yeah. Unfortunately, can't check it out for another week. Yep. Give me that back. All Give right. I'm putting the, you can put that over here. All right. So, what's the big deal about this thing? Okay, so the big deal about this thing is is a Sega Genesis clone console, which means it can play Sega Genesis games um, on modern televisions, on HD TVs, and it scales everything up to 1080p. Uh, however, the, the catch with it is it does this not through emulation like the Retron 5 or Hyperkin. Hyperkin has their own, like, dedicated Genesis uh, console. But those are done via software emulation, which basically means it's a cheap computer that runs a Genesis emulator um, that you can get on PC. Uh, but there are all these, like, compatibility problems. There's lag. There's whatnot. This is uh, powered by a field programmable gate array or FPGA chip. And basically what that means is they were able to take the uh, processing programming of the original Sega Genesis and transfer it over to here. So it is basically hardware emulation, which is a lot closer and more accurate than software emulation. It's the closest thing you can get to playing on Genesis hardware without being an actual Genesis. How did we get paint on our Sega Genesis? It's like white paint splatter. That's a good question. I don't know what the hell I did. Yeah. Uh, so on like the high, on like the Retron Five and stuff, there's some games that either don't work or work weird on the Retron Five. Yeah, yeah. on the Retron Five. So on this, every game should they work. claim that? Yeah, they're every single game. Will now work every article I've read, like they've tested like every game possible, and like they've had no compatibility issues. I don't know. I can't think of one that would be hard. I know. know? I know of two. Um, actually three. Um, Sega Virtual Racing uses, um, like their version of the Super FX chip, the Sega Virtual Processor. Mm. Um, so that's like, that's not just a regular Genesis cartridge. That does like 3D models and stuff. So that's like difficult to program. Mm. Um, Gargoyles, Disney's Gargoyles. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm serious. Yeah. It, it uses, like, there's, there's a bug in the original Genesis model that like Gargoyles exploits in order to run. So like... Later versions of the Genesis, like the Genesis 3, patch that bug out so Gargoyles doesn't work hmm. at all. Does the 2 run it? Yeah, the 2 runs it. Hmm. Uh, according to our emails with Analog, this should run it no problem. Um, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles. A lot of emulators like can't run it because they don't understand the lock-on technology. Yeah. But this, uh, from the reviews I've read, run it. A lot of Sega Genesis emulators, like like software emulators, the music is too fast. That's or too another slow thing. The music, the music is like very hard to emulate. Uh, the at games, uh, yeah, famously cannot do licensed by Sega. Yeah, and it runs like crap. Mm, famously can't do Genesis heart uh, sound. Yeah. So apparently, this can do everything. Yeah. Uh, Underscore just DM'd me and said, make sure to update the firmwares on your Mega SGS. Yeah, the, um, they did say, they did make sure to tell us to, um, to update the firmware before we play it, which mm -hmm. there's an SD card slot on the side to do that easily. And the SD card slot, um, they said that they support unofficial jailbreaking. They support it. Yeah. <laughs> They're not going to release jailbreaking programs, but they're not going to stop people from doing it themselves. All right then. So, if, if you like, it doesn't run, it doesn't run ROMs on its own. But if you want to hack it to run ROMs, they're not going to stop you. If you want to hack it to run fan translations, they're not going to stop you. Interesting. Yeah. But also, and I should point this out: in addition to like officially licensed Genesis, Master System, Game Gear, whatever games, this will run homebrews, uh, hack games. Uh, and things like that. Like the Retron 5 can't run homebrew games. I this know will. That. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Wily's Revenge or whatever. Yeah. The, 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 yeah, yeah. the Wily Wars. The Wily Wars. Yeah. That's the uh, European Mega Man 1, 2, and 3. Oh, is it? That's what it is? Yeah, it was released in Europe. I thought it was... All right, anyway. it's, it's Super Mario All-Stars for Mega Man. The first three Mega Man games. Well, uh, yeah. It, yeah. We have the a repro of it. Yeah. But so. this will run it. The Retron Five probably and the original run it. one will run yeah. it also, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Yeah. So that's cool. Yes. I'm excited. I'm <laughs> very excited for this. This is gonna be cool. Yeah. But people will. Yeah. The future will be able to put just play ROMs on it. That's crazy. Yeah. 
I mean, they did say if you were to buy like an EverDrive, a Genesis EverDrive, and load it up with ROMs, this will run it. Oh, yeah. The, the Retron that. won't run it. That's so weird. Yeah. The Retron. What's up with the Retron, man? It's, it's because like it, it uses software emulation and it mm. only like, it's only as powerful as, you know, the guy who programs it is. And they probably only programmed it to run official stuff. We got $2 from Bruce Patrick who says, yeah. did you guys catch the Mortal Kombat trailer? Thoughts? Yes. You yes. said it was good. Will liked it a lot. Yes. Uh, Lane Happel with $5. What do you guys think about Crypt of the Necro Dancer and Zelda? I think it's cool. Yeah. I think it's awesome. I think, be, I think, I think it's think awesome. Interesting. We, we talked about it last yeah, week. Yeah, we did. I think it's awesome that uh, Nintendo just let an indie dev do that much with their, yeah. with their IP. Uh, we also got $5 from Zombie Moose 82 Bob, I was being sarcastic about subscribing to an Apple mobile gaming device, plus they better have a headphone jack and Ethernet built into the Pro. I guess it means the Switch Pro. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ethernet jack, I don't know about that. Yeah. They should he put an Ethernet jack. Headphone jack, they probably will. Uh, we also got Twitch Prime stuff from Sh- Shabarazas and Joystick Junkie. Thank you for the Twitch Prime Thank sub. Thank you. Um, okay. Now is the Tweet of the Week. Tweet of the Week! Tweet of the Week! Tweet of the Week! This one is all text, finally, <laughs> after a while. Oh, you put one in here. I put me? one in there, yeah. All right. Also me... all text. Good. So this one is by Matt O'Brien. Mm-hmm. He says, man goes to doctor, says he's depressed. Doctor says, treatment is simple. Papa Roach is in town tonight. <laughs> Go see him. That should pick you up. Man bursts into tears and says, but doctor, <laughs> I am Papa Roach. <laughs> That's funny. That's a good one. Obviously, the old uh, joke about Pagliacci. Yes, the clown. But he's saying it in uh, in Rorschach's voice. Yeah. Like it's from the watch. Yeah. So that's, that's That's funny. That makes it funny. Uh, all right, this last one is Mia Farrow. Yes, uh, famous actress Mia Farrow, uh, known for this. Rosemary's Baby and other films. Um, this is a little political. Just letting you know, just throwing it out there. Just, just a you know trigger warning. It's a little political. I've been on this. I've been on this earth for a long time, and I found most people to be kind and good-hearted, which is the reason I don't think they'll vote for Trump, Donald Trump again. <laughs> Also, the first version of this was released in 1993, and I think it is still one of the best video games. <laughs> I want to. I tried to look her up to see what she did, and I guess I gave up very quickly. Uh, ask your parents. What? What games has she been playing after Miss? I don't know. She's definitely just only playing Miss. Yeah. There's no other game she's comparing this game to. I know. I would like to know. Like, is Mia Farrow like currently playing like God of War yeah. or something like that? What her what her opinions on Apex Legends versus Anthem? Also, I very much like how this is a this one tweet. Is about two separate things. <laughs> That's apparently like a thing. We're like, you know, I, I forget. There's a word for it now, but like, you know, it'll you'll be about one thing and then like change course right in the middle of the tweet. <laughs> to go to a hard left turn. Yeah. Uh. Well, anyway, now is when we talk to you people. Yes. As always, you can reach us on Twitter using the hashtag WolfDenLive. If you left a comment on last week's WolfDenLive, this is the part of the show where we will finally answer you. And of course. Ladies and gentlemen watching right now, please start leaving your questions and comments because we will get to them when we are done with everybody else. Hashtag Wolf Den Live. Um, I'm going to start from here. Mohammed Hader, how does sponsoring your videos work? Do they pick specific videos knowing the subject? Or is it just, hey, Bob, we're sponsoring your next video. Can I support your video? I don't have a product. I just want to tell everyone how great I am. (laughs) You can. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, Usually they reach out and say, we want to work with you uh, to promote our product or something. And then I, I, uh, if I don't know what the product is or what they're doing, I try to like get a sample and see how I like it. Yeah. You know? Um. Like, for example, uh, we got on this show the Ridge Wallet. Yeah. That's the wallet, the little, it, it's, 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 this, it's pretty expensive. It's, uh, 
it's just a wallet, but it's like really cool looking. And the, the, the way you take the cards out is like weird. Yeah. But it, it's very tiny and very minimal. Will tried it out, did not like did, it. Was not into it. They wanted to do a sponsorship, but I said, I want to try the wallet first. Mm-hmm. Will did not like it. I actually really like it and still use it. Okay. Um, so I want, so I'm like, yeah, I'm down for sponsorship. The person who gave it to us is leaving the company. Oh. So, we just, so we got the wallet for no reason. But that's how sponsorships work. Yeah. Um, Dollar Shave Club, in their case, they, uh, Say we want to do an ad, uh, like one in March, one in you know April, and blah blah blah. Um, and then I just have to do an ad in that month, and they don't really care what video it's on. Mm-hmm. But I try to make sure it's on a video that I know, like on a switch video that I know is going to do good. Um, somebody like the Satisfy Grip, um, I they said, well, I want to put an ad on one of your videos this month. And I said, do you want it on my ad on the flip grip? Is that like sort of a conflict of interest? He goes, no, that sounds great. Do that. So I was like, okay. And I did it. I usually send a sample of just the ad part to them so that they can approve before the video goes Mm -hmm. up. But otherwise, I can't send them the whole video because I usually finish it like hours before the video goes up. So that's how sponsoring videos work. If you want to sponsor a video, go uh, email bob at thewolfden.com. Or will at thewolfden.com because I could use some money. True. He needs some sponsorships. (laughs) Um, Falto says did you guys know that there's a custom server called WeMMFI that allows you to play Wii games online today they've even added anti-cheat measures on it Mario Kart Wii is most popular game on WeMMFI I've never heard I've never heard of this but I know there are like places uh, like services that do get older uh, games that like where the online was shut down up and running. Well, how do you then? How do you do it? Because it's unofficial, you know. Like how yeah. does how does the Wii connect to it? Do you have to have some sort of homebrew going on? I don't know if you have to have some sort of homebrew. I know for like, um, for the, the GameCube, for example, mm-hmm. uh, not a lot of games supported online, but a surprising number of games supported uh, land play. So. That you would just like it would you know, like, tap into the land settings of of the game, oh. and like then just broadcast it over the internet. Like okay. Mario Kart Double Dash was really popular with that service. I forgot so, what they call that on. Uh, there's a warp pipe on the GameCube, and I know they were using it on original Xbox. Like when that online shut down, um, mm. not warp pipe, but it was something else, something similar. I think I, I think all the Smash Brothers Melee players just use an emulator, yeah, to play with each other. Uh, yeah no that's cool uh, there should be more things like this because when online servers shut down a lot of games become unplayable yeah slush nurse says bob did you know that super mario Bros. 2 is actually a game called the hot the hokey Koki in japan and that's what it's all about and he put a he put a, put a man dancing okay jordan said a lot of stuff Okay. okay, here's my two cents of the, quote, new Switches. While I hear a lot of people wanting a portable only or a Switch Mini, I personally don't, nor do I think it makes sense. If it is possible, if it is portable only, it's not a Switch. That defeats the purpose. Get your head out of the name gutter. <laughs> uh, all I would really want is a Pro-type version. Same physical size, so I wouldn't need a new dock or new Joy-Cons but a spec bump for sure to possibly run games better and smoother and portable. Maybe we can get 1080p larger screen size. I would love 1080p larger screen size. Yeah. Because right now the screen's only 720. So I'd love to see a, a 1080p screen on a new Switch. As long as the current Switch doesn't become obsolete and there aren't exclusives for the new systems, I'll be happy and possibly tempted to upgrade my Switch, but I don't want to have to deal with new Joy-Cons or new dock thoughts. I don't think most people are going to want to upgrade to yeah. whatever new Switch is. I think on. if there is a new Switch, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal for the people who currently own a Switch yeah. you know, to want to upgrade. It'll pro- probably be like the most recently announced AirPod 2s. Where really, it's just a better battery life. Um, the, char- the charging thing is wireless. Um, and you can say, hey, Siri, instead of tapping the thing. But it's not that different from the original AirPods. Right. I we're gonna have to start getting somebody to pull these tweets because yeah, there's a lot of them. we're getting a lot of them. Big Yoshi, I think that the Switch Pro will be console for 
4K graphics, 4L he wrote, <laughs> and the Switch Mini will be just a handle to replace the 3DS line, which is already dead, by the way. And Bob, sorry for being back. The Super Mario Bros. 2 is a game called Doki Doki Panic Joke Back. Sorry for bringing back that joke. Yeah. When did you bring it back? Just now? <laughs> is that it? Um, uh, You're not getting 4K graphics, guys. Everybody. Yeah. I'd... Calm down over there. Trep says, do you guys think you will be visiting Montreal one day? Maybe for Comic-Con or something. Would love to see you guys in person. I would love to visit Montreal one day. Yeah, I've never, the only place in Canada I've ever been to is Toronto. Mm. So, I would love to go to Montreal because... Yeah. Uh, they, I've heard it's fun. They got all the good game studios yeah. out there. Uh, Stupid Demon. What is the answer to this question? He didn't give a question. Yes. Okay. Uh... Helioid GFX, I am thinking about starting my own Nintendo Switch channel. Would you recommend I start with reviewing accessories, games, or both? Uh, why not both? Yeah. Do whatever you want. Everything. And then you'll find your, yeah. li- your what you're most comfortable with. Yeah, what you're most comfortable with and what your audience seems to like the most. Yes, that's important. That's very important. Yeah, so whatever happens, happens, man. Yeah. Uh, Pasquale says, I would like to know what kind of music you guys are into. What are your favorite bands? What have you been listening to lately? I've been... There's a large swath of yeah. different types of music. I like things with guitars. Like, we, like you actually like hear good guitar, like big guitars. I've been listening to OK Go a lot recently. For really? Some reason. Yeah. I really like OK Go. Yeah, OK Go is great. I'm a big fan of but OK Go. But speaking of like, going back to guitars, I like their first two records more than I do their most recent. I think it's because like it's more guitar focused mm. than their other ones, but their other ones are still very good. See, I like drums. Yeah, I like good rhythms and yeah. stuff. And I also like vocals with good rhythms. Yeah. So that's why that's why I think I like OK Go. Yeah. Um, that's not one of our favorite bands. It's just no, it's just a band we really like. talking about. Yeah. Um, lately, I've been listening to a lot of J Rock. <laughs> Because I'm trying to learn Japanese, yeah. and I feel like listening to the same sort of bands over and over again will like drill into my head. One of my favorites is this just singer called Eve. He's really good, and mm-hmm. the the arrangement is really good. There's this band that I'm listening to that I think you would like, although you won't. Under- it's all in Japanese, so okay, you can't understand. It's fine. Um, called Polka Dot Stingray. It's because it got a female singer. Okay, it's very good. Is that the one? Am I thinking of that? Yeah, no, it's it, yeah, that's it's thing, right? Yeah, yeah, they're really good. Okay, and they got a bunch of stuff on YouTube. Um, I will check them out. So that's what I've been listening to lately. Favorite band? That's really hard. One of them is the Matches, but they yeah stopped playing a long well, time ago. Yeah. I mean, I, my favorite band is Weezer, even though their last album was disappointing. I one of my favorite bands was Under Oath, and their last album was disappointing. Yeah. So, I guess that's the thing. Like with favorite bands, at a certain point, you either you know grow out of them or they just release an album that is not what you want yeah you know because one of my favorite bands was afi but they haven't put out like the an album i want in like 10 years it's hard because they either have to they have to change they yeah, can't just release the yeah, same type it, it's, of music it's, it's, and you either you either nail it or you don't yeah like some some people can change gracefully and some people like just do a shift and it's like not what you, what you want. One of the most underrated bands that I like is this band called As Cities Burn. Mm-hmm. Their first album is all post hardcore and it's all yeah. screaming and like heavy and whatever. Their second album is like uh leans pretty heavily into indie. Yeah. With like a lot of delay guitars and stuff. Yeah. The third album is like a rock album. So it's a different yeah. genre every time. And people did not like that, but I thought it was really cool. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite examples to give of that is uh, Sugar Ray, because their first two records were heavy metal records, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden they switched to like you know being your mom's favorite band. <laughs> Swear to God, look up the the Sugar Ray song Mean Machine. It's incredible. Uh, what game was that in? It's one of the BMX games. No, the Dave Mira. well maybe oh, no Road Rash. Road Rash. Road Rash. 64, yeah. yeah. John Pre- Prentice. Just curious, what did you guys think of Sonic Heroes? I think the gameplay is rough, but it has the best version of Metal Sonic ever. Keep up the good work. I didn't know that. I didn't like it. The gameplay is rough. The level design is not good. That's yeah. like the Achilles heel of that game. I was very upset because I really like 
uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah. And it came out right after. And it, 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 it's the first level of it is pretty good. But like the, as it goes on, like it just gets more complicated and hard mm. to play because the level design is not bad. Not good. Fart Fart says recently uh, reshelled a game, uh, Game Boy Advance SP. Have either of you ever done something like this? I personally like it how it was done before. I personally liked how it was done before. You reshelled your Joy Cons. Yes. Uh, don't ever do that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's such a pain in the ass. Uh, I've never reshelled a system, but like I've been tempted to because I really like the GBA SP um, with the NES shell. And I have I would like be willing to just buy that shell and take mm-hmm. our GBSP and redo it. But I feel like I have, but I don't, no, I don't, we've never reshelled a system. No, I guess not. I guess yeah. just controllers. I I fixed your uh, Genesis. Yeah, you did the other do that. Day. Yeah, it's just the 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 power, the soldering joint on the power cable. It's yeah, all it's weird. like finicky. Yeah. All right. Uh, now we're in last week's Wolf Done Life. Yes. Uh, Thomas Lee says, streaming a game is tougher than a video because you can't buffer a game. Any reduced uh, QoS equals lag as the video and sound can't be cached. That is true. Yeah. That is true. But it's not like that's any more data. It's just that it has to be immediate. Right. Well, that's... Uh, f- you know, it, I mean, you would need something powerful enough to do all that as fast as possible. Yeah, it's the speed. It's not the bandwidth. Right. Yeah. It's not the amount of data coming through. It's the speed at which that data comes yeah, through. Yeah, and it has to be fast and consistent. Yeah. Bat Mabel says, hey, Bob, if you want a recommendation of a Japanese band to listen to, I highly recommend Scandal. I've heard of that band. Their new single came out yesterday, and it's really good. I'm biased, though. I'm a huge fan of theirs and went to Mexico to see them live. I'm going to Google that right now. I get the TV show. (laughs) Band. Yeah. All right. You do that. I'll read the next one. Oh, they're an all-girl band. (laughs) Nice. Um, Jonathan Fabrizio. Hey, Bob, are you ever going to move out of your parents' house? I mean, how old are you? <laughs> Never. They got me here for it. When are they going to move out of my house? Yeah, that's the real question. Yeah. They live here with him. No, of course I'm going to move out of my freaking parents' house. You think I like this? You think I enjoy this <laughs> life? Uh, X Fluffy Ghost X. Firewatch is one of the best stories ever told in a video game. How dare you? How dare you, sir? It's, still love you though. It's super not. <laughs> it's super not one of the best stories told in a video game. The Last of Us, Metal Gear. I mean, Metal Gear. Metal Gear is. <laughs> Go on. It, it might be a good story, but at a certain point, you have to realize it's not very well written. I wouldn't because it's I wouldn't overwritten. say I wouldn't say that it's one of the best stories of video games. Yeah. That was that's that's not true. But you got the last was Red Dead, the first Red Dead Redemption. Oh, I don't know about the second yeah. one. There's plenty of amazing stories in video games. Firewatch. I don't know about that. Yeah. Uh, X Fluffy Ghost. That's, I just read that. Okay. Miss here. I don't know how to say that. One thing you have to worry about is whether or not this new game integration will negatively impact YouTube content creators. What happens to game reviewers and Let's Players that are not kind to the content that is then linked? Can creators create games states game states where people can play through how broken that state is? That's interesting. Yeah. Developers will not be kind to Stadia if it doesn't police that stuff. Guaranteed this will have a negative impact on YouTube creators. That's a point. I don't think that part where you say, can you create a state where to show how broken a game is? Mm-hmm. I don't think that's going to negatively impact creators. I think that's going to negatively impact the games. It'll negatively impact the games, which will in turn negatively impact the creators. Actually, I don't know about that. Well, not the not the creators, the develop. Well, no, yeah, everything. It'll negatively impact the game if the game is on other platforms. But if the game is an exclusive to Stadia, then they're just going to have more people playing the game to see how broken that game is. So it's not going to be a big right. Game, but you if know? you know they put all their efforts and if the developer puts all their efforts into making this game, mm-hmm. and you know the creators come out and say it's a broken mess then the developers are not going to want to put any more games out on Stadia. They're going to limit the amount of games that they release to the creators. The creators aren't going to have anything to make content out of. You know, it's this vicious cycle. I don't think that 
they're going to be policing the create the YouTube creators. Right. I just think this is just par for the course. They're just gonna. This is just something they're gonna have to deal with. And I don't think it's gonna be that big of a problem for for the people who are making the games. Yeah. I th- I think it. I think it'll help them more than hurt them, especially to have these little states where you can show how cool a game is. Yeah. You know? It could work either way. You've got two extremes. Um. And it, and if. Uh, in terms of linking to a reviewer who's not too keen on it, I mean, as long as they're not like overly like, if if it's just just a legitimately critical review of it, then why not? Yeah, you know, you're gonna have to link that. People are gonna need to know that the game sucks. There's one star reviews for a reason, you know. Yeah. This last one, I can't pronounce his name. Christoph. Yeah, Skalski. Christoph Skalski. I'm finishing World of Light today, but it was long and not that impressive. Also, when I was when I saw the second map, I got mad for like a month and put the game aside. There's a second map? <laughs> yeah, you beat the game once and then uh, you didn't really beat the game. <laughs> ah, it's like 40 hours long. It's a dude. good thing I stopped playing yeah, World of I Light. Yeah, I don't recommend World of Light. Oh, it God. takes too long. Sounds awful. All right, now we're in the actual chat yeah. here. Do we get super chats? I feel like we did. I didn't hear any. Oh, Austin Bench, $2, my dudes. My man. That's it. Oh, why did I close that tab? Damn it. Uh, Mario says, yes, River Cuomo is God. He's also insane. <laughs> Kiriako says, Eve is sick. I used to listen to them a long time ago. Also looked like I should be in the band once upon a time. <laughs> Uh, Zook, uh, 997. Splatoon 2 has a better story than Uncharted. I stopped playing Uncharted 4, like, right in the middle of it. I still haven't played that game. I really want to. Uh, Underscore says, really, since the art of drowning, I dealt with Sing the Sorrow, though. I guess so he likes AFI since... Did you say anything about AFI? I did. I said, like, they haven't released anything that I wanted to listen to in a while. Yeah, I, uh... I liked Sing the Sorrow. Sing the Sorrow was great, but after that, after that wasn't no. Good. Um, Bat Nav says Tetris ninety nine has a better story than Firewatch. <laughs> uh, Maxter Tube. I really wish they would make a right Joy-Con symmetrical to the left Joy-Con. I wish they would sell one and give us the choice. Hampering the system for a Joy-Con mode hardly used is frustrating to me. I feel like they're not symmetrical because so that they can make it uh, playable sideways. Yeah, so that you can play it. Yeah, so you can give it to somebody else to play. That's it makes a lot of sense. I mean, if they were to like do it, it would be like the. That hoary D-pad Joy-Con, it would just be like a specialty Joy-Con. That's what I want. I just want the D-pad yeah. to be up on the top left of the of the Switch. Yeah. That would be awesome. Mm-hmm. But uh, I don't necessarily think that the system should be defaulted to that, though, yeah. because I know that we 2D game players here are in the minority. Yeah. Uh, Gene Cost Morales, how much money do you get Will to talk about Kirby All-Star Allies being the greatest game ever while saying bud and wearing sweatpants and dab with 30 seconds of video? How do you know that that's like everything I hate? How much you got? <laughs> Mecha Dragon says, Bob, where's the support only chat in the Discord? I didn't put it there. We're getting rid of that. Not, not the whole chat, but I just don't like having it on screen because people have like private conversations in there. Really? And they don't realize it's being broadcasted. Yeah. So I like don't like having it on screen anymore. <laughs> So that's not going to be there yeah. eventually. Uh, so I just didn't add it to the new mm. setup. Uh, Eric Montez, left or right Twix? Uh, both at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Half it. Yeah. Also, same thing with Kit Kat. Exactly. I was just going to say. Eat the whole thing from the side. Yeah. Uh, and and you, you don't like cheese. No. Uh, cheese, the pull and peel cheese? Yeah. All at once. All at once, yeah. dude. It, ta- it Actually, I think it tastes better that way. Because you're like biting into it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Brianna says, hey, Bob, can you please talk about your predictions for Animal Crossing Switch? It's my favorite game series, and I am having such a hard time waiting for it. I have never played an Animal Crossing game. I tried to play a little bit of the first one on GameCube, but it was like you needed 
it needed its own memory card. Like it took up all the space on the memory card. And I'm like, I don't want to delete anything from my memory card. So I'll just play no save. And it's like defeats the purpose of Animal Crossing. Yeah. So I've seen people play New Leaf a lot. Yeah. A lot of people were into that. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to play whatever new one comes out, but I have, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I can't. Oh, I played Pocket Camp on the phone. I wasn't that into it. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't make any predictions because yeah. I haven't played any other ones. Uh, we got $5 from Slayer Knight Plays Demos. Uh, have you played Baba Is You? The nope. latter levels are driving me crazy. No, I have not. Hmm. Heard about it. Yeah, I was seeing it everywhere. And I'm like, should I play this? I'm probably not going to play this. We also got two dollars from Dead Zero Grateful. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, what was this? The episode number again? One sixty nine. Nice. nice. That time we got it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's take like one or two more. Uh, Ray says, "No, Bob. We realize that you guys can see our chats. We don't do it anyways, just so people are interested in seeing that supporters talk about." We do it well. We do it anyways, just so people are interested to see what sports talk about. Hmm. I was gonna replace that with like a marquee of like, uh, you know, like our social links, yeah. and like and like you know, support us on uh, on YouTube and oh, join yeah. the Discord and like all that stuff. Um. Antonio says, hey, Bob, I'm curious what you think about the new design slash art choice uh, for the Link's Awakening remake. I think it looks great. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong. I mean, everybody was like, I don't think they should have led with that really cool animated cutscene. And Yeah, because then it goes right into like the more toyetic look. Yeah. Yeah. Toyetic. Um, but I think it looks great. Yeah. I'm totally fine with it. I hope it's not $60, but it's going to be $60. Yeah. Uh, Rock and Roll 93. Hey, Will and Bob. Do you, Hello. Did you guys pick up any of the indies that were on sale last week? I picked up Night in the Woods, and it's amazing so far. I never pick up stuff on sale because I always get things the second they come out. Yeah, I, I usually wait till sales, but um, I didn't pick anything up. <laughs> I, whenever a, a sale happens, I feel like it's too late for whatever game that is for me to play. Next time the Messenger is on sale, though, I will pick it up. You got to get I'm that. definitely playing You got to get that. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, oh, Brianna says, Hey, will you guys ever live stream Smash Ultimate with viewers all the time? We do it all the time, yeah. Actually, I did it yesterday <laughs> on Twitch. <laughs> Follow me on Twitch, I do it more on Twitch, but yeah. I also we're gonna play Smash Brothers on Saturday live here on YouTube. Oh, PAX. oh, so I should have been practicing then, yeah. You're gonna be reading the chat, <laughs> okay? Yeah, you're gonna be playing. Oh, good. <laughs> um, I could bring back my commentary style. I, I mean, you could play, but I'm telling you, you're probably not going to Yeah, I'm just going to get wrecked. <laughs> um, hopefully, we'll be able to do that online. But I think we can't do private matches if it's two people on the same console. I oh, think we, we have to do it on, like, online. All right. Anyway, do you have any you want to read? Uh, I got a pack. Yeah, I got a pee. And eat a so, cookie. Let's just wrap it up. Thank you guys for hanging Thank out. you for tuning in. Thank you for watching us. Thank you for chatting with us. As always, Wolfden Live is every single Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube.com slash Wolfden. If you can't make the show for any reason at all, we always put it up as an archive version on Thursday for you to watch on demand whenever you want. If you prefer to listen to us rather than watch us, you can do that as well. We are on audio podcasts on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Google Play or Google Podcasts, apparently they changed the name, mm. and Stitcher. And if you listen to us on any of those platforms, please be sure to subscribe, rate, and review us because that, my friends, helps us with placement on those respective stores. Check us out at PAX over on our Twitter. Yes. At, at The Wolf Den, we uh, posted our schedule. We got something happening every single day that you can also follow along with at home. Yes. So if you're not going to make it there, it's also going to be live. Most of the stuff's going to be live streamed or archived after anyway. Yeah. Except for our signing, obviously. Yeah. Our meet and greet. That's not going to happen. Uh, I mean, it's going to happen. It's not going to be live. Yeah. Unless you come, you film it, and then you put it on your own personal YouTube or Twitter page. True. And True. if you do, make sure you add us. Yes. And rate us and review us. Because yeah. uh, Also, the thumbnail for this stream it might not be that great because I, I have a lot to do. Okay. Tonight. So thank you guys for hanging out. I'll see you later. Uh, I'd PAX. Goodbye. Bye.